Oh, hi you guys and welcome to the show. Uh, today, we've got more D&D lined up for you. It's going to be great. But first, let's just tell you a few things about ourselves. First of all, if you guys want to get uh, involved in our community where we welcome all sorts of new people to play, come and play D&D, that's new people. That's people who are returning to D&D and uh, even even diverse people who struggle to find games elsewhere come to our place we've got a safe inclusive community here uh, where you guys can all come and play some DD. &D. we also have a patreon running uh where we are, are getting support for this uh, campaign uh this 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 show uh, you can come and support the show on patreon we just recently hit our first goal um and that, that feels amazing um and we are striving for the next one uh, and also, uh, if you would like to check out our merchandise, uh, head over to the Red Bubble. And also, at the moment, we have a competition, and I've done the tweet wrong, uh, but I will rectify that very quickly because that's the sort of the power that I wield, the professional power of correction. It is strong in me. Mm, you'd be surprised. Uh, the power of correction. That's nearly it. No, don't want to. Don't have I run out of spaces? There we go. Submit. So that should work now. Boom. There we go. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to check out the... Uh, uh, we're giving away due to our new crest, this thing here, our new emblem. Um, we are giving away a whole bunch of... Um, a whole bunch of merchandise. Merchandise. That's what we're giving away today. Merchandise. Um, and I've just made this thingy. I shouldn't have done. Um, so... I think that's enough about me. Let's go and get the guys. Oh, hi, you guys. You are live. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be live again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alice, we live. <laughs> Alice, would you like us to introduce ourselves and then you introduce the scene or would you prefer to introduce the scene and then us introduce ourselves to it um for this one i will actually get you guys to introduce yourself first and then i will introduce the theme okie dokie uh why don't we go around uh we'll go on the screen order as it is on stream so we'll start top left with wiley hobbit hey i am wiley hobbit on the twitters and in discord and on the twitches and all that jazz and i play um D, D right now. I'm excited to be hanging out again in the Academy. Thank you, Scrat and Alice, and my fellow castmates. Um, I also have a game on Monday nights over on Welcome Party RPG, 6 p.m., new to the party. So it's a bunch of uh, newer to the game people playing, and it's a lot of fun. So I will be playing Grusnog Blackheart. He's wiry, lean, nasty-looking little half-orc, long, jet black, kind of nappy hair. Uh, he's got one tusk, kind of you know gnarly-looking. Um, leather armor, black hooded, long duster, and he's kind of salt stained and weathered, and he's a seafaring half orc guy, and so Grushnog, that's me. Fantastic! Thank you very much, Wally. I look forward to playing with him. I've got a feeling he might like another character. Uh, next up is Dread Pirate Romy. Welcome to the show. I'm Dread Pirate Romy. Um, uh. I will be playing Hobart Fletcher. Um, I personally, I have played D and D since I was like 16, and played D and D in English class with uh, a couple of my friends, uh, skipping up homework and stuff. And uh, my character Hobart Fletcher, he is a mercenary veteran ranger. Uh, just rough and and got PS PTSD and just just kind of a rough soldier. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Long time gaming. That sounds awesome. Uh, the English class. Yeah, remember those days. Awesome. <laughs> um, uh, next up, uh, we have. Uh, I've. I think I've got the. Uh, Things the wrong way around. I'll quickly correct those. But we have Lockstar Nixie. Hi, I am Lee, also known as Nix. You can find me on Twitter at Lockstar underscore Nixie. I am one half of Technical Lesbians, which technicallesbians.com or lesbotechnical on Twitter. Um, today I am summoning a little bit of my down home roots, and I'm playing a bit of a bumpkin wild mage sorcerer named Tex Arcana. And um, 
See what you did there. Hopefully I get drunk enough to make it really, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do me last. So we'll go next to uh, uh, G4 Gaming. Hello. Hey there. Hi. So my name's Jillian. I also go by G4 Gaming X on Twitter and G4 Gaming 1 on Twitch. And today I will be playing the store, the very extravagant with the obvious glasses. I will be playing Courage, the tiefling bard who, someone is kind of stuck on story. She's had very uneventful adventures, which means no good stories to tell, which is very bad for her career as a storyteller. So she really needs a good story, and she needs it now. Hmm, no. <laughs> This is almost certainly an appetite for destruction. It's going to be great. <laughs> and uh, last, last of the of uh, of well, for me and Alice is uh, I'm sorry, Nassim Etamad. Yes. Correct pronunciation. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey everybody! Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm really excited to be joining your academy for the first time. And uh, I'm Nassim Etamad. If you wish to follow me on Twitter, I am there. That is my handle. And I am a fourth of the Venture Maidens podcast, which streams every Wednesday uh, with the Don't Split the Podcast Network. We're also on Twitter and social media and all that stuff. So find us there. And today I am playing as Alina or Ali, the moon elf cleric. And she doesn't have a last name because she doesn't belong to any one clan. She belongs to the earth and everyone on the earth is her family. She likes to make friendship bracelets and give little healing trinkets to her party members wherever she travels and you'll always see her doing something with her hands making things knitting or crocheting or something she's about 500 years old tall like six feet tall very pale white hair dreads that are long down to her her back her butt with things braided into them and uh just jet black clothes that are very simple and drape and flow over her body. Sounds awesome. Uh, fantastic, thank you. Uh, now, guys, you know me. Um, I do have another little announcement before I hand over to Alice, but I'll do that in a moment, because first, I need to introduce you all to Blank the Upholder. I'm a goblin paladin with light blue skin, and I'm a, I'm a champion of the crown. I uphold the law around here, okay? So, uh... I don't want any messing around from you guys. If we're, we're hard on our time, we need to find money. We're going to do it easy. We're going to do it legal. It's going to be great. Okay? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> and now my, my last little announcement. This is a continuation from the weekend, really. And I'll do it in the form of a emote in the chat. Because our second tier emote has been approved. We now have <laughs> the crest for, for second tier subscribers. So if you Congrats. Want, Yay! Um, to get your own crest like the one oh right next to me there um there it is in the chat alice all yours okay i'm gonna just throw us straight in and i'm gonna turn off this creepy ass music um, <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys find yourself in an old port town called Vinar along the coast the one thing you'll feel is it is hot here and there are buildings that are either sort of sandy colored or pink in color and they are all cramped together and they've sort of been built on top of each other. Um, you see lots of washing lines in between. Um, there's cattle being ushered through the street um, and the air is hot and stuffy, stuffy. And you see children down by the shore laughing, playing, splashing around in the water. And there is a rich smell in the air from the market where there's lots of colourful spices being sold. Down. Definitely smell a strong scent of coffee. Um, there's beautiful silks and decorated bowls being held up by people at market stalls trying to sell them to you. And as you go through this market, at the end, you can see um, a bar or a tavern, a sort of open air one where people are all drinking outside. And this place seems to be the place you have all been told in the letter you have all received. You all received um, a letter to meet at this bar called the Hungry Kraken from a Marcus Wade. And yeah, what, what are you guys doing? I don't give me a beer. 
I've already, I've already got a good package on, and I'm just going to bust my way into the hungry Kraken, make my way through whatever crowd is there. Barkeep, give me a, give me a nail. Look around. The barkeep looks at you. He's sort of just like wiping a glass. And he's just like, and just slams it, um, this glass bottle down on the side for you. He's like, and, uh, so what are you doing here? I'm looking for a mate named Marcus Wade. Oh, Marcus, you know him? you're one of his. Yeah, he's waiting for a, in a room out back for you. Well, I ain't one of nobody's, but I'll go meet with him. It's through that curtain there, and you see just like a, literally, rather than a door, there's just curtains due to how hot yeah. this is. So he is through there. I'll put the appropriate coinage on the uh, the bar with a little tip. He sort of nods to you and takes it and continues on. Okay, throw my hood back, blow through the curtain. Mm -hmm. I have okay. a feeling that Blunk is already in the bar somewhere, probably standing on a box that's got soap written on it, uh, <laughs> with a letter in his hand saying, You just gotta trust in the system, all of you. You see, it's already written in, all of that, the differences that we, that we used to uphold. It doesn't say uh, protect and serve humans. It doesn't say protect and serve elves. It says civilians. That includes all of us. I just imagine the... Yeah, 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 sugar! <laughs> I, I feel like her just is there just inspecting the, uh... Inspecting the paper that Blunk is holding, just, like, agreeing with all everything, because... She said there's some prejudice herself, because he's a tiefling. <laughs> I think Hobart is, is sitting at a table, just, just eating pine nuts, because he doesn't drink when he's expecting work. Relatively important question. Is the bartender vaguely attractive? He, I would say, is not at all. He is quite a round man that looks like he's been in very, a lot of fist fights. He has almost a slightly misshapen face from just taking quite a few blows to the head. Yeah. Tex is going to walk up to the bar and go, Hey, honey, can you get me a good bar, please? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that 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 will be uh, <clears throat> two copper, please. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Put and he the, just put puts four the copper on the bar. And he puts he sort of hands the bear. Actually, try almost like not looking. He seems slightly <laughs> embarrassed uh, by this. Al you. Alina is probably just entering the bar right now. She's looking for a place to cool off, being out in the sun in her black robes all day. So, uh, and then here's Tex's charming accent and is drawn to her and comes and stands. My goodness, what a beautiful accent you have. Mind if I sit by you? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She pops the squat and then asks for a white wine. Uh, uh, the guy looks at you and says, uh, what, white wine, okay, I know. And, and you see him just going through all these like boxes which are all full of beer. Just like, <laughs> that that <laughs> bottle over there, honey, I see it, it's over there. He just, okay, thank you. And so sort of goes <laughs> over and he pulls out a bottle of wine and he, he places it down on the table and just gives you two standard like cups that would have beer in normally. Mm -hmm. um, but he, this guy doesn't look like he even knows what a wine glass is. So yeah. yeah. She figures most places probably don't have it. So mm. she gives it an extra gratuitous tip. <laughs> He's just like, thank you. Sort of like shuffles back, like trying to count what you've given him. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm turning down like, well, hi there. What? I don't think I've seen you around. Oh, yeah, I, I come and go from place to place, but I got this letter and I figured this was this was the place to be. A letter? So we're just going to see where it takes me. That's funny. I got a letter, too. I pulled my oh, letter really? out and show it to you. And I show mine. Huh. Well, how about that? Like my pappy, uh, Stephen F. Arcana always said, you know, you can't go nowhere and have an affair. There's always something connecting everybody. 
Oh, how true. What wise words. Stephen F. Arcana. He was a he was a very wise man. Till he um well, there was these red goblin raiders and oh it was nasty and he kind of tried to fling a trebuchet across the field. Long, long story. Need to be way more drunk to tell that one. <laughs> Do you know oh, how it goes? I'm sorry to hear that. She pulls out a little red bracelet out of her pouch and hands it to you here just to ward off the bad memories and keep happy oh. memories of your father. That's beautiful. Thank you. And I put it on. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the gallery <laughs> uh, thank you very much to uh, the anonymous patron who pledged one pound. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> yeah. And welcome, readers. We're only just starting, so <gasps> welcome. Um, yeah, sorry, carry on. <laughs> okay, so uh, the barman comes back over as your drinks start to low, and he's just like, I uh, just wanted to see if you lovely ladies wanted a top up. That sounds wonderful, sweetheart. I didn't, I don't believe I caught your name, honey. And he's just like, Ben. Oh, Ben, that's such a good name. You can call me Tex. Hi, Tex. Like, and he's just, I don't know, and I turned to Allie. I don't think I caught your name either. I'm Tex, Tex Arcana. A pleasure to meet you, Tex Arcana. I'm Al Alina, but you can call me Allie. All my friends call me Allie. That is such a pretty name. Why, thank you. And I ask for another glass. Um, he starts to pour, and then you know, he's just like, oh, like that your drink almost overflows. He's like, you're here to see Marcus. Oh, yeah, we got these letters. Do you, do you know him? Yeah, there's, he's out the back at the moment. One of your others just turned up. Another one? You, you, well, dang, it's going to be like an art, I'm a, armadillo convention around here. <laughs> well, it's just through the curtain out back. I don't think, you know, just pop through when you ladies are ready. And he sort of walks over and he sort of looks at Blunk. He's like, Blunk, will you keep it down? Because he sort of shuffles back behind the bar. I'll get down for now, but I'll be back and I'll, I'll tell all sides of these people. These people need to know the ways. <laughs> I suppose we should head on back there. Let's do. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <Properly>. <laughs> Thanks for paying an interest to my uh, to my little uh, my little speech there. Uh, my name's Blunk, Blunk the Upholder. Blunk, you can call me Tex. I feel like her to uh, go up to Blunk and say that was so that was an interesting speech you have. It's so inspiring. I really need some inspiration right now. I'm kind of running low on energy. <laughs> Oh, Allie, the, the uh, hearing that reaches into her pouch once again and pulls out a green bracelet to hand to you for confidence in your everyday goals and gives it to you. What you got, oh, honey? Oh, thank you. And she puts it on. A, um, my, I'm sorry. I'm really rude. But my name's Courage. It's nice to meet you. A pleasure. You can call me Allie. <laughs> Hello, Courage, you know? My pappy, Stephen F. Arcana, he always said, all you need for inspiration is a cold beer and apple pie and a good fuck. <laughs> Those are some interesting advice. Uh, he, he, he was a really wise man. They, they thought he was the wise man where we lived. I mean, sure he was. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, a little place we call Nack of Nowhere. Not much. You got a coffee shop and... For some reason, there's this one random arcane university, not much else, but it's home. <laughs> <laughs> Neck of nowhere. <laughs> I swear behind that. Thank you oh, yeah. very much, Ed, who uses his Patreon donation to donate five nat ones to Alice for Alice to use at her whim on anyone or anything. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Hey. Good night, hey. buddy. <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> right, not anymore. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing? Are you moving towards to go through the curtain? Is Hobard and Blunk doing? What are they doing? I around Blunk to come with us. I thank you. I've just kind of been sitting around, like listening to everybody, like kind of, and I'm just kind of waiting for everybody to start that that way towards the back and I will 
follow them in without really introducing myself. I'm just eating my peanuts or whatever. And just walk back there. Oh, surprise entrance. Okay. Well, as you walk through this curtain or door it goes down a small corridor and to another curtain door where there is a an open air like patio sort of area and there is a man a very elderly man sitting at the table um he is dressed in like a loose white shirt and trousers and he is smoking and he he stands as soon as he sees you just like, oh, oh hello hello my friends you you all got my letter then yeah. I sure did. I, I hold up my letter. Please. I hold mine please. up. It's all gnarly. Yeah. Are you a friend of Pappy's? Who's Pappy? <laughs> Steve F. Arcana. The Knack Nowhere Arcanas. I'm sorry, Dave. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, everyone, please take a seat. And there's lots of, like, chairs dotted around this table. Alright, I take a seat. Taking a seat. I'll, I'll stand on a Next seat, and, and maybe I can see. <laughs> oh, well, you're an intriguing little fellow, aren't you? Okay. okay. Everyone, I've bought some drinks. I didn't know what you like, but just, just drink them. Um, I have <laughs> a business proposition for you. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, I am a very old man, and um. I find getting around rather difficult. Um, I didn't used to be this way. I used to be an adventurer and an explorer. And I've spent my whole life piecing together this puzzle. Um, and I believe I finally found the location, but I am too weak and weary to go on my own. And I need some people to go for me. But why us? Well, you you look like you could use the money, and this this young lady apparently hasn't got any stories to tell anymore. She just like tilts her head down in like total agreeance that she has no more stories. Everything the past few months have been very uneventful. And it's that's... okay, dear. It's, it's it's a perfectly normal thing could happen to anyone. But I have one request. I, I already have a man and a boat ready for you. And he will take you to the island marked out here. And he pulls out two pieces, two separate pieces of paper, which are ancient. Like seriously. Interesting. Ancient. I'll need um, my new glasses for this. <laughs> and it looks like a map with coordinates and everything. Um, there's, but it doesn't make much sense. And he says, well, this, this is an ingenious piece of paper when uh, you can't see the true location until you hold it up to the sunlight. So this will reveal the location of the island and the temple that is on it. The temple is the tomb of a great queen from an ancient forgotten empire. Um, it is said that there is to be great treasure with inside. Now, I am a historian um, I, I, and I am old. I don't need much money anymore. So the one thing I do need or would like and um, just to have proof that was there, there was a, there was a tells of a book that she had. And I want that book for my research and whatever treasure is in there can be yours. You take Does it. Does the book have pictures? Uh, um. I, I, I don't know, my dear. I haven't seen it. It's just a, a legend. Now, uh, <laughs> if we were to loot things from a temple, I guess that's not stealing, um, because they belong in a museum. So I, I guess I'm on board, so long as you don't plan to use this island as a tax haven in the future. <laughs> Wasn't going to. Good. Okay, I'm on board. And it's a temple. That means there's some kind of god there. I mean, maybe not G-O-D, but some kind of god. It's more of a tomb. Uh, um, but All I right, know they so did view her as a god, but she was very much a human. 
I'm just worried about any vengeful deities. We had a little problem with back that, you know, back in Nack of Nowhere once. And um, don't want to go through that again. You know, I lost three cousins to that. Extraordinary. No, I've not, in my research, I've not had anything about that. What is your research? What are you, what are you learning, learning right now? I want to learn about the Forgotten Realms and start piecing together the lost history of certain places around the world. Like Nack of Nowhere? I have not heard of that, but yes, maybe that should be my next project. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a tour. It'll take five minutes. Yeah. Okay, but I will, uh, who would like to take the map or the pieces of the map? I'm a bit of a sailor. I know all these waters in these parts. Let me have a look at that map. And he just uh, pushes kind of it. it for a moment. You saw, he sort of, he sort of withdraws a little bit. He's got quite shaky hands. He's an old guy. Um, he's like, and uh, take this. And he pulls like a, like an amulet off from around his neck. And has, he's like, this is so, uh, the sailor Toby will know that I have sent you. He should be down in the port waiting for you. I'll grab it and hold it over to one of the people. I hope you don't mind, uh, swimming um i have i've i've heard the way to get to this island could involve a lot of water i'm not too sure how but i i, I suggest you pack your goggles and he's sort of <sighs> i just kind of shake my head and almost quit regarding him is there a uh, like a history check or something i could make as a sailor in these parts that i might be aware of where we're heading yeah you could do a history check I feel like it's all this is going to... <laughs> I feel like it's all this going to... like she has like a notepad on just like writing everything down just to get ideas for her new story. It's just this is the most eventful thing that she's had in months. Tex is just uh, drinking because she's Tex. <laughs> With um that history yes. check, you don't know anything. If, if anything, this could be a sort of a more of a new area to you. Where will you be? Well, we are gone, because if this is a, some sort of scam, oh, no. I'll be back. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I've sort of retired here until I travel again. I'm here for another couple of months. Because I know these waters, and I don't see anything on this map about an island, and I don't recall anything it's because in the you've region held you've held to the sunlight, my dear boy. When you I want to grab it and hold it up. You can't in here because there's like some like big material that is over the top, so it's shading everything at the moment. I mean, like, but fair Tex totally doesn't realize that. Yeah, <laughs> she just thinks if she holds it up to He's the like, dear, dear, no, <laughs> <laughs> and looks over to the others like, outside is where you will see it, but I I won't leave until you return. Oh, okay, I, I, is the water not yet? Is that later? Okay, um, I'll, I'll take the goggles off for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so is everybody, everybody up for this, this adventure? I've been ready for months. That's bare money, I'm in. Yeah, I'm happy we're... to be of assistance. Yeah, Someone better watch over work. you, Alan. You've made an old man very happy. Thank you so much. I'm um, out of work. I can't imagine how or why. I will do this thing. Oh, okay. Well, you're looking for Toby Dunham. He's he's the man who is uh, who has the boat. Um, I knew his father very well. Um, but yes, I will wait here until you get back. So thank you. Can I ask? I'd love to know. Do you have any idea how long the journey might take? Oh, not long at all, apparently. It's just a matter of finding the right spot. I see. Oh, that's encouraging. Well, I'm fun. ready to head down to the docks. Before we go, I try to get everybody's attention. We need beer! Before we go, and I raise my ale. <gasps> in Orcish fashion. Razu bat baruk. Ug butaru bat grauiuk. Whatever the hell he said. Woo! Yay! I love you. We will kill all the men 
And we will, and he stops and regards the females. And stops. That's <laughs> enough, boys, honey. It's okay. This this little old man has got a little glass of whiskey, and he's like, "Oh, yes, whatever he said." To serve and protect. <laughs> okay. To inspire, and bring stories. So to friendship. Text leads over to Gresham and goes, "Are we gonna fuck somebody?" Oh, <laughs> I know where you were going with that toast. Uh, it's a custom of my people. So, hey, nothing wrong with getting laid, honey. Nothing wrong with getting laid. As you guys, um, I as you agree, agree. Agree. the the tavern or bar, you leave the tavern or bar, and this is the first time, like, since the chat, you are actually in direct sunlight. Let's have a look at that map now, mates. Let's look. Okay, so you holding it up? Okay, as yeah. you hold it up, it's like um, it just an image just swipes across, and you can see a small island with a very simple temple surrounded by jungle on the side, and also you can see what looks like whirlpools surrounding this island. And as you hold this up into the air an eagle swoops down and snatches it from your grasp and starts to oh. shoot down the um, down one of the pathways of um, this market and you notice all of a sudden as this eagle comes into land in the market it slowly transforms into a man and starts running and weaving you motherfucker Yes. Jackson immediately goes after him. Stop oh, it! Full sprint. Steve! Steve. Yelling, Stop that motherfucker! <laughs> okay, so are you all running? Yeah, after yeah this guy? using dash actions, everything. Okay, yes, this, this guy action. is sprinting. He's got a bit of a head start on you, and you guys start closing in. There is cattle trying to come across your way, and he's knocked some barrels over. Can you all make a dexterity check to try and avoid this cow that has just crossed your path? Oh, shit. I have a hand crossbow what? that I will draw. You can't fire that in this street. You'll hit a civilian. <laughs> 20. Okay. So the bard almost does like a big like leapfrog over this cow as she's got in this thing in her Wait, sight. are we doing a dex save or a dex check? Um, a dex. Oh, a dex save it was. So. Okay, good. I clicked the right one. Yay. Um, Yay. Yeah. So all of you manage to avoid this cow as it um, slides around, apart from um, Grishnag, who literally doesn't see it coming yeah. and slams straight into this cow and falls oh. on his back. Um, as looking. I said, this bard has like pole vaulted over this cow and the rest of you have swerved around it and you are still running. Can I go ahead and throw a magic missile at this asshole? Uh, yes, you can. But I am going to use... Um, oh, hang on, is that... Do you have to roll for that? I can't remember or not. Yeah. No, you don't. It's it's an it's an auto hit. It is an auto hit. I can also an cast hit. command and I can just stop him. He is way Let's ahead. Let's go with that. Distance. Oh, okay. He's, a, he's about forty feet, fifty feet in front of you. He is dashing. I I just like leap over this cattle and I just go into a full sprint. I'm gonna go with magic missile. See. I have sixty feet oh. range for that spell. Oh, okay. Uh, Grishnag, what are you doing? Because you have literally just um, Yeah, I'm recovering off. myself, you know, yep. smack the cow, draw my hand <laughs> across like, the room, it try to get a like good look at this way. guy. Are, are there a lot of people between us? Um, not so. They've sort of cleared out the way, seeing you all, you know, yeah. like, oh. Um, yeah. This um, guy, you hit him as a magic missile, shoots out down the corridor. People were jumping out of the way, and you strike him, and he falls over briefly, allowing you to gain... 10, 20 feet on him, and he quickly Ooh. travels to his feet, running again. You can see he is herring down this road towards some um, two horses where a man is waiting with him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire my crossbow. Okay. I'm going to try to throw a firebolt at him this time. <laughs> I want to command him. And I quit! Wait, no, that's not Wait, me. Wait, we don't have to harm him, friends. Let, let, let me just try to stop him. Yeah, I just critted don't, on him. Don't you have to, to roll for an attack for the firebolt, though? Did it not roll it? I clicked it on the. It did. Um, oh, is there no? 
No, no it's just from, let me try again. Just the, it's just the damage. Okay, why is it doing that? That is weird. Okay, well. So, Grishnak, you fire out to him, and can you roll the damage for me, please? Love to. Shall I roll it twice on my crit? Yeah, just roll it twice. Well, oh. 11. Okay, 11 this guy, nine. you hit hard. He falls to the ground and takes a massive tumble. Um, as you guys are still running forwards, lots yeah. of um, barrels have been knocked over by um, some of the people moving out the way. I need you to make another dexterity save for me. Oof. Okay, so you will dodge and jump over these barrels apart from yep. and hey, honey? knock Ow. over the Come here, for massive, some reason my spell's not rolling right. The um you actually knock over these Firebolt. massive bowls of spices and it's just giving me damage, it's red. not and everything like that just bursts into the air like smoke, completely confusing courage and Blunk as they smash into each yeah, other. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast pre 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 digitation and just like pull it everywhere. And, like, pfft, like. As you both get to your feet, you're both covered. One of you is red and one of you is orange, and you are smelling <laughs> very heavily of spices right now. Yeah, I just cast pre digitation on me and Blunt as like we we're just running. Okay. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I unfortunately have that spell, so we're just clean ourselves up. We're no longer spicy. Like, this, ah, thank this, you. this is just giving me damage. This, um, so the road you're running along is like an edge, and the sea is down um, below. All the docks are down below, and this guy who is injured, seeing you running towards him, tucks in and then rolls off the side, so that he down another level. And as he does, he transforms into an eagle. Again, but he is but he is hurt, so he is, he is now. struggling. Mm -hmm. is he um, still, get back is he, here! Um, I need to set up to roll roll damage with it. No, is he still no. within sixty feet of me? He is within damage. sixty feet. Of me. I want to cast command and tell him to halt. The okay, so as you do this, this bird like freezes and it's flapping on the spot manically, like it doesn't. It's up in the air, and where it's suddenly gone tense, it drops the two pieces of paper as they float down towards the dock's edge. I'm gonna run I, and get there and grab it. You gotta grab it. Rushing towards it. Also, I have to say one thing. If we kept the, if me and Blood put, kept the spices on, we would've been turned into the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm just gonna stop and just let everybody else just brush this piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just like standing in this like, oh, like just watching it all happen? Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have made a Spice Girls pun. I'm not sorry. So, <laughs> Grishnag, are you running down the... Um, to yeah, I'm going to go down there to get that paper. Okay, well, this yeah, I'm getting that paper is, too. Like up in the air, so it's not really doing anything. It's just hovering. Um, there are some steps carved into the side of this wall that you can yes. run down, Please. which you yeah, do, yeah. and we'll do that. you reach out and you catch them. Just roll damage manually. Okay. Yeah. It's the map. So, and there was a second piece of paper? They're both there, so you've caught both of them. Okay. <gasps> you managed to keep, um, catch. I'll curse the bird in Orcish. Roll them <laughs> up and add my duster and meet the party. Yes, let's find Toby before we take another look at this map. And this, this eagle squawks, you guess angrily, um, <laughs> it quickly flies off over the sea into the distance. That was weird. Okay. So, you guys are now down at the docks, and there are loads of boats. Loads who, and loads of boats. Who took um, the amulet? That was me. Make sure you're wearing that amulet so he recognizes us. Alrighty, and I make sure it's kind of showing, like, propped right between the cleavage. Yeah, yeah right, I'm just so gonna... I'm just gonna use more precipitation. It's really hard spell to pronounce. I'm just gonna use it on both me and Blunk a little more just to get the remaining spice off. Okay. Because we can't be Spice Girls anymore. Thank so are you guys all walking down to the docks? You're all at the dock area now. Okay. So as this, um, as you arrive down there, you can see lots of boats, small boats, large boats, like 
literally little rowing boats as well. There's lots of people oh. pulling fish up. Um, and there's lots of people here. There's a couple of market stalls again, all selling fish, smoked fish, fresh fish, everything. Did he give us the name of a vessel or just Toby? Just, he gave you the name Toby Dunnan. I'll, uh, I mean, I should know a bunch of people down here, you know, docksmen and so forth. So I'll try to find somebody I know. Okay. Um, there's a few people down here. Um, you might recognize one or two, not necessarily by name. Right. Um, but yeah. it's probably pretty good for you to know that one of the pieces of my background is as a sailor is bad reputation. <laughs> So no matter where I go, people tend to be a little afraid of me. I get kind of get away with minor criminal offenses. I'm rude and boorish. So I'm just going to start barging my way around down there. Pull okay. somebody aside. Hello, do you know where Toby Dunnan is? Very in a hurry, very impatient. The guy looks at you, he's like, all right. Like, have you grabbed him or are you? Yeah, I've got a hold of his whatever, you know, yeah, his like, cloak. Look, look, mate, let go. All right, and he sort of tries to. All right, all right, all right. Tell me where he is. Where's who? Let me. I got this. Hey, honey. I'm. I'm on kind of push. Oh, I'll look. Push yeah. brush now. Like, sweetie, sorry. He's a little rough around the edges, but it's what. Tell you what, he shines like a diamond when you give You're him a bear. Telling me. But um, we're looking for Toby. Toby, Toby I think Dunham was the last. Oh, name. you want Dunham? Oh, Toby yeah, Dunham. honey, could you just point us in the right direction? We don't want to be in trouble, you understand? Right, yeah. Okay, if you really want him, he's down at the other end of the dock. Just look for the tub that he sails in. Oh, and I smell like fish, uh, too. I warn you, he's had a drink this morning. Oh, honey, I've had four. Is he drunk and disorderly? We have to rectify this wrong. Like he suddenly, you were like almost appear out of nowhere to this guy. So, shit. Where did you come from? The law is always around. But sometimes you ignore it. Blunk just walking towards the end of the dock, just leaving. Or... I follow Blunk. Just like, <laughs> it's like making sure there's no more like remaining rem remnants of spice left on his armor and stuff. And if I do. This guy points, he's like, yeah, he's down on the end there. And you can see he's pointing to this, a decent sized boat, which just looks quite battered in the way that the paint's all weathered and peeling off and Ooh. stuff like that. And you can see a man loading things onto the boat. I'm gonna that be looking sure over is the vessel. a nice boat. It's so much nicer than my pappy's old boat. I mean, we had a lake in Nack and Nowhere, but I mean, we had a little boat, wasn't much nothing. So this uh, is really quite nice. Look, love, do you mind? I've got to sell fish. If you want to, do you want fish or do you want to? Do you have any tuna? Any what? Tuna? Tuna. Uh, no. I got, what? I got like lobsters and stuff like that. Oh, I'm allergic to shellfish. I can't eat any of that, honey. That'll, that'll hurt me. Oof. Okay. Then maybe... I just kind of uh, nudge over the text and just go, show them the amulet. Be redder than a bull's ass on mating day. <laughs> you don't want me to eat that. Okay, well, Toby's down there, so why don't you go and talk to Toby? Sure thing, honey. Thank you for the help. That, and I slip him, right. like, but You've really far. confused him. He doesn't understand why this band of misfits has just <laughs> approached him and told him they're allergic to shellfish and left. <laughs> I'm not allergic to shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys all walking down? What's Hobart doing at the time? Because you were just standing and watching. I was just standing there and watching and listening to all this. And then when Blunk was saying his piece, I'm like, I kind of wink my my one good eye and just kind of <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> follow him along the way. <laughs> okay. So, as you all walk up, you can see a man. It's almost like he's talking to himself. He's like, oh, fuck. God's sake, and like just throwing on like um, big sacks of what they like to be supplies, and there's crates and barrels, and he's rolling them on. And you see him like stub his toe, and he's just like, Mother! like as he gets um, really frustrated, and then he just stops and sits on the side for a bit. Gotta put a dog in the swear jar, honey. Hang on, and hang on, hang on. Maybe 
uh, Alina, you, you seem like one of the friendliest of us. No offense, Tex, you're pretty friendly too, but I mean a different kind of friendly. Uh, maybe Alina, maybe oh, you could try and Blanc. handle this, this situation. Well, sure, but thank you very much, Blanc. She's a little flattered and goes up to Toby and says, excuse me, sir, are you Toby um, Dunham? Or he immediately backs up and walks away from you. He's like, we're friends. Asking? We're friends of who was whoever the man was? Marcus. 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 We're friends of Marcus. He's uh, hired us for a little venture of his. And I point over to Tex with the amulet and I say, you might recognize this from from Marcus as a symbol of... He, he moves over and holds his hand. Like, he's like, give it here. But it suits my complexion so well. You want to get on the boat or not? Oh, absolutely. Give me the amulet. So rude. I'm I hand sure the I'm amulet to it, and he's like looking at it. He like bites on it, and he's like, "Yeah, all right, come on then. That's definitely you." And he completely like changes up, and he seems quite happy and cheerful. So, is it, so is this all of you? Indeed. One, I'll be four, looking six, over the boat. seven. Uh, yeah. Um, and he looks uh, down at you. He's like, "Oh wow, I haven't seen a goblin in a long time." <laughs> yeah, we're 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 breaking the mold. We're not just we're not just NPC monsters anymore. I'm, I'm an upholder of the law. Look, look, I ain't got Goblins nothing against good goblins. people. Why you gotta be so judgmental? Hey, I got no judgment against goblins. Only the Lord up above has the right to really judge people. Right. Okay. Is, so do you get is on the Tub gonna get us where we need to go, mate? He sort of slaps the side of it, and one of the um, metal portholes fall off, and he goes, "Of course you will." Right then. You need help. I'm a sailor. A pirate. You're a Glad pirate. <laughs> don't maybe don't shout that around too much around here. What do you mean you're a pirate? <laughs> I ain't worried about. That. <laughs> and I and I glare over at the goblin like whatever, whatever. Right. Well, you and yeah, you can all help me put the last of this on. And he just starts putting a big sack on like yeah, both of you. He's like, start. come on then, on we get. And he just starts getting out. Alina oh, senses no. like tensions rising a little bit between everyone and goes, I, we all have strengths to bring on this adventure and I'm sure we will all need each other at some point. And Tex, I know you might miss this amulet. I'd be happy to make you something to replicate its beauty. Oh, can you make it to match my bracelet that you made me? Because I just love that bracelet. Of course, darling. Woo! Thank you, honey. <laughs> Oh, okay. I sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I like the, I like the I like the this shit. just less racist. <laughs> <laughs> and they untie the rope, and you guys push out into the harbor. So, at this point, now this is probably the most time you guys have all had not doing something. And not knowing each other what's interesting. Is there anything you guys wanna chat about or Here you go to you on board, mate? Well, with me, um in the hold where we're we're sleeping, uh at night you hear me yell and scream bloody murder through my nightmares and You have night terrors? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Texas is gonna be like waking your guns. Sugar, 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 sugar. You having a nightmare. You okay? Uh, I might need something to drink. I got plenty of that and I hand him a flask. Okay. I take it take a couple swigs and then lay back down and, and I quiet down. I was still a little still a little unrestful, but but I quiet down a little bit. Alina asks, I have something I've made out of this magical thread. It's a, uh, it's like this bright white thread almost matches the color of her hair, and it's in it's like a dream catcher, but it, it made into the shape of a crescent moon. Hang this over wherever you sleep, and it'll help you stay calm in your in your dreams. Okay, oh, of course I'll, I'll do will. that. In that flask over here. Uh, say, say, Alina, can I, can I have a quick word with you aside from from the uh, pirate, uh, pi uh, rest of the group? <laughs> I look over at the goblin. 
I'm just tuning out my loot and just playing a little tune just to pass the time. Tex is gonna go and try to find if there's a kitchen and if there's any way for her to make biscuits. <laughs> now, now, Alina, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with a little something and I think you can help. You seem like a compassionate kind of person and I appreciate that. Now, I have, I have reason to believe well, I, I pretty much heard a confession that our Gershnag is a, is a pirate and is therefore acting directly against the law and my oaths demand that I hold him to account. But I have no proof and that would be an unlawful act. So I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. I like to think that people's past don't define who they are today. So let's hold on and see how Gershnag carries himself when we reach our goals. And if he seems to be acting out of line, I can understand you wanting to follow your oath and uphold the law. But for now, let's trust that he is here to assist us as we are here to assist each other. Yep, those are wise words. Thank you. Of I'll keep an eye on him. Of course. Okay, so you guys have been sailing, whether you're chatting, eating, drinking, whatever. Um, you've now been sailing for a good four or five hours. And Toby's at the helm, just directing. Um, have you shown him the map to show where you guys are going? He's, <gasps> he's got a general yeah, reference. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think your oh. has the map. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go above deck. Whoops. You might be needing this, mate. I'll pull the map out. Sort of takes it off you and looks at two pieces. Is it, what time of day is it? This is it's coming up to midday now. Okay, so I'll you uh, I'll drink get the it map. real early. Yeah. <laughs> like... I'll, I'll get the map back together and hold it up for him. Oh, craziest okay. map I ever seen, mate. But it looks like that an island will appear in a moment. That's amazing. And like, and he look, he starts um, looking at it, and then he goes what's that and then you notice one of the whirlpools is starting to move on the map oh like is uh, it uh, in place see, or moving in location you also see your boat on the map has appeared whoa and it's moving towards one of the whirlpools. it's like the ways oh. app oh no <laughs> please make a u-turn no we yes. um so <laughs> He's looking at it, he's like, what kind of magic? I don't is know, it? mate. Marcus gave us this map. I've never seen a map like this. Looking at it. So is that us? Is that our boat? I I guess. How'd you know oh. Marcus? That's who gave us the amulet. Oh. Now look at him like duh. Well duh, yeah. I meant I meant why are you here? <laughs> Why did you accept something from that crazy old man? Well, I got fired from the last ship and kind of between jobs. And you know how it is, I'm sure. Yeah. I'll hand him the flask. Um, you see he's already holding a bottle in one hand and he's like... Oh, I'll just keep that to myself. Yeah, yeah. Like, no thanks. I only like the good stuff. And he just swigs. What have you got there, mate? Whiskey. Oh, I'll have a pull off of that. Tex randomly pops up and grab. says, did you say whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> so it was his text popped up uh, now. Her booze sense was tingling. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Grushnag, you're having a swig of the whiskey. Yeah. Tex, are you having a swig of the whiskey? She's having three. She's having three. <laughs> okay, both make me a constitution save. Oh, no. Oh, the good stuff. Yes. It's the good stuff. It's... That's some good cons right there. Okay, so, um, Grushnag, you're absolutely fine. However, Tex, you need to roll three times. Woo! Because you took three swigs. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to use one of your nat ones. So you are now absolutely... I'm okay smoking. with it. Drunk, you are in English terms <laughs> paninied, gazeboed, wasted. I can go through them all. Yep. But Tex, you are now drunk. 
this has hit you hard. So it's like on the third one, it's like the first two you had and you were like, oh, this is good. Like, and then you take, and it's like, it's suddenly with that and the combination of fresh air, it has hit you hard. You are drunk. I knew she wasn't going to make it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nothing yes, makes Ellie really happier. Did I, did I hear party? If she gets out early and starts playing a little tune on her, uh, like, just to get the thing, or a little upbeat and happy. Play your cards starts. right, Toby. You might get lucky, mate. For just lack of a better girl term, Tech starts like bad white girl dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Toby looks terrified wasted. at this point. So. Ellie just loves, loves the, the party, too. loves the people drunk. She loves them at their happiest state. So pops the squat and has fun. She's like clapping along to the music <laughs> and encouraging Groshnag and Tex to dance. I was like, so what is Hobart doing? Is he incredibly uncomfortable in this situation or? Kinda. Um, <laughs> he's still kind of, now that, that, that uh, Groshnag is kind of uh, drunk, I'm kind of keeping an eye on him, but other than that, uh, I'm just kind of uncomfortable just and just chilling. watching it. Yeah. Just Who are you calling drunk, mate? I'll get real close to him and I, you know, well, exhale you my fish. It's a matter, matter of perception. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, okay. Very good. Hey, my loot. Do, 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 so do, do, you guys are all. Well, no. Tex is very drunk, Tex is out of it. Otherwise, you guys are pretty chilled. Groshnag, you're chilled out. You're not you're not even tipsy, but you're quite mellow about it. Um, sorry. Update, they're drunk. Thank you for the tea. Uh, yeah. I am not oh. drunk. I'm just playing <laughs> tunes. And I'm just, just keeping the nightmares away. Just keeping the nightmares wasting. away. So as um, you guys are traveling, across the sea you notice the seagulls are becoming less and less and you can't hear anything sort of in the sky anymore um the waves seem to be getting a little bit rougher as you go through and toby in fact no can we want to have a perception check from everyone please at text disadvantage please <laughs> <laughs> you mean? I can't really see anything! <laughs> I need uh, 23. Yeah. Sorry? I got a 23. You I don't have 23. my... Yeah. Ah, yes, of course. Okay, so as you do it, you're sort of, you know, sort of looking over the side of the boat and you're looking out and you can see gulls fleeing from an area and what looks like the sea is sort of slowly dipping in on itself like a whirlpool and you mm. can feel like what from where you are you can feel the wind pulling you in that direction you feel the boat tip slightly mm -hmm. and i will feel that as a sailor Texas right? still just dancing. The, mm. the pitch hey mate what do you got the there toby yeah, I call over right. Toby, Toby, and I say, um, are you aware that we're heading right towards that whirlpool? He sort of stares up. Yep. And our uh, plan is to... Go go through it. Wait, how are we supposed to go through a whirlpool? You should look at the map. I'll hold it up again. As you do, you see Seven. a whirlpool more, more, moving closer and closer to the boat, and a dotted arrow it's almost like a flashing like those neon light signs but it's got to for you to go into the pool and then it shows i really you. think mate i don't like it but i think we're supposed to go in there i don't like it well i figure the sailors know what they're talking about just <laughs> isn't that kind of risky and uh Look, you're, on, okay. you're on like an adventure aren't you just, I suggest you hold tight, and like he starts yeah, doing further. Don't get me wrong, I love adventure, but this kind of... When do we die from a whirlpool anyway? He sort of shrugs his shoulders. <laughs> um, I got my special go my, my special whirlpool goggles, I'm ready. So as um, this happens, you all feel the boat throw itself to one side as you are sucked around the edge 
of this whirlpool and Toby is like struggling to control. Can you all please roll me a dexterity save to try and hold on to this boat, please? I will do what Am I can. Am I still at disadvantage? Uh, you are, I'm afraid. Would Woo! I be at advantage as a strong seafaring, uh, got my sea legs on? Okay, that didn't suck. I'm okay. Okay, so, so you all, if I get one for 16, that's fine. And Blunk, could Blunk roll one, please? <laughs> Scrat, you're you're muted as well. There we go. Okay, so the boat uh, hits and Sorry. throws you all to one side of the boat, but you all get you manage to cling on as Toby tries to control this, and then as you circle around the other side. It's like a wall of water comes up either side of the boat as you drop deeper into this water. Can you all make another dexterity save? I'm gonna fall off this boat, I know it. New lord, I feel like a jackrabbit in a hurricane. <laughs> Ooh, well I think I fall right off because I rolled a three. Okay. Whoosh. Um, Floosh. Courage, um, at the quick jolt of the other side of this boat, is thrown from the boat. <laughs> You are literally going through the air currently is, as the boat is, there is turning any on its chance, side. Is there any chance I can try to, to grab any part of her? If you do a strength check for me. As a, as a seafaring, you know, I know what to do in this situation. And Hobart, you have also, uh, <laughs> you have slipped and fallen and you too are sort of being thrown across um, to the other side of the boat. You are not holding on to anything anymore. You're being thrown towards this deep pool. I'll just flail around trying to grab whatever I can if, you know, uh, okay, if I can uh, do an athletics or whatever. Or... If you do um, an athletics um, to try and almost run, to, like, as you're, you're literally flying past the mast, if you can do an athletics try to grab hold of something on the mast. I got yes, a, you do. You manage to hold 20. onto a rope that swings you round. Nice. And um, Groshnag, you managed to grab Courage by the leg as she um, falls. Now, how are you grabbing her? Uh, I'm going to try to go for, you know, any solid part of her, like her ankle, her foot, her leg. I know better as a sailor nope. to grab clothes. No hordes. Don't, don't grab the hordes. That's just going to hurt. Okay. Right. As you pull her leg, um, the boat tips again, and she smacks straight into the side of the boat. Can you take 1d4 damage, please, Courage? Okay. into the side of the boat. Also, thank you very much to Castle McShawn, who donates uh, to give uh, Grishnag a nat 20, and also to Winfora for that sub. Uh, that is uh, uh, a new sub, and gives a nat 20 to Alice, the dungeon master. Thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, the boat being sucked right in, and the water is what you almost can't see the sky anymore. Can everyone make one last dexterity check for me, please? Okay. <laughs> 13. Uh-oh. 18. Fact, I rolled a one. Can you tell Tex is used to being drunk? In fact, <laughs> Tex and Blunk. Hmm. I net one. Hobard as well. I'm going to use those last nat ones. Ah! Uh, the whole team Oh, up. no! <laughs> Three. Why do you hate me? Three. I rolled um, my own net one. Yeah, he rolled his own net one. Ali is the only one, I think, who is. Oh no, our net okay. wins. So Ali manages to hold on. Like you, um, how are you holding on to this boat as it almost completely tips on its side? I'm probably trying to hold on to netting of some kind where where the sails are tied down. Okay, so you yeah. sort of almost tangle yourself um, yeah. up in it and you are holding on to this. You see Toby holding onto the wheel of this boat as you watch the rest of your party members fly from the boat <laughs> down the world. This is exciting! Disappear with it. Oh shit. <laughs> so. Violation! Can I try to unravel some of the things, uh, whatever netting is next to me? I can't remember what they're called, uh, but whatever is, you know, the, that sailor knot on yeah, the rigging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to undo one of those and try and throw them overboard and catch whoever Catch one of them. Yeah. Okay, um, yes, if you could roll me, I don't know 
what would um, throwing one? Probably a dexterity again to try and okay. throw this and grab someone. Who are you throwing to? Shoot. Um, Tex. Okay. Yes! Tex. <laughs> Thank you! And Tex, I need to make. Uh, well, in fact, let's roll the dexterity first. Uh, that was a six. A six. Oh, no! Ooh. Okay, Um, this is literally like falling through Tex's fingers. So, can you roll me a strength to try and hold on to this, please, Tex? Uh, test or save? Uh, a save, please. Okay, you just about cling on. However, Ali, I now want you to roll a strength to hold on to the boat that you are on. Twelve. Okay, you two both um, hang on, clinging on for dear life. You are, all of you are thrown into complete darkness. Ah! And you can feel water rushing and gushing all over you. And you're not sure how long it is, but you all wake up on a beach. You are, <laughs> your lungs are full of water. You've been coughing and spluttering. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you are halfway <laughs> in the sea. <laughs> These goggles are supposed to help me. Gosh darn it. You see Blunk floating on a piece of wood that is just sort of slowly coming in up onto the beach. I'm going to try and assist Blunk and just yeah, like pull him to shore. Yeah. <laughs> he needs my help. You see the boat that is on its side and is now laying in the sand. Toby is sort of like slung over the, um, the wheel and Ali and Tex are sort of now where you've all landed have just sort of tangled up in this mixture of rope <laughs> and metal. Hobard and Grosnag, you are effectively face down in the sand <coughs> wake up. Okay. Ali, you did? <laughs> no, I, I feel yeah. okay. <sighs> How are you? Well, are you okay? I got you, man. I got you. And like, as you lift him up, I imagine water's just gonna come tumbling. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. <laughs> oh. My gosh, that was the most fun I've had in months. Yes. Is Toby there? Do we see him? Toby, yeah, gonna... you see over the wheel. You will see him. The others probably. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to Toby like, with oh, my flask. Like, as he's trying to like get him. All right, mate. That was a hell of a ride, eh? My boat. Like he suddenly steps back, ignoring the fact that he's got a cut down his head and he's bleeding. He's like, my boat, my boat. Is, is it damaged or is it just beached? Um, it's mainly beached. You can see um, the mast has um, broken at the top, not the main mast, but the bits that come yeah. across it. Oh, we can fix that. It's Truss it up. It'll be fine. I don't think presentation can fix this, and from my knowledge. It shoots you a look like this is my boat. <laughs> like... I'll put my arm around him. I know. I understand. A man in his boat. We can fix it up, mate. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of trees here. We can make it work. Thank you very much to Light Fingery who donates to give and that 22 text. Uh, he thinks that she will need it. <laughs> Thank you! Hey. Yay! Okay, so Hello. as you guys sort of, I guess, recover, like get it, untangling yourself from ropes, standing up. Who who helped Blunk? What happened with Blunk? Who is I, I, I was helping Blunk. Okay, so you wade into the water and you sort of, I'm guessing, how how are you helping him here? Are you just picking him I'm up? I'm just like, well... Yeah, I'm possibly like like pushing him like for like with a piece of driftwood, just like it's like holding him and just like pushing him and, and as we're just like nearing the shore, I just like take him up and just carry him back to the shore and probably do a bit of CPR just to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You yeah. will realize this I go Wake up, uh... Blake! Wake up This island is covered in beach, but the beach isn't um, it's quite a thin beach going all the way around, and then there's just a, a dense mass of jungle. And you can see from somewhere in the center a sheer face of rock going upwards. Have we confirmed that this is the island we were heading towards? This is the island that you okay. were heading towards. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll hold up the map one more time to see if we've gps is now I'm getting me an alien beached on the island. Looks like we're here, all right. Looky there. Huh, hiding an island in a whirlpool. Most fascinating. This is going to be a great story. 
I want to ask Toby. Toby, will you be joining us the rest of the journey, or would you like to stay here and work on your ship? He, he sort of sat, almost like stroking his boat. He's like, <laughs> no, I, I'm going to help her out. I said, We're not going to go anywhere. We're not be able to get home if I don't fix her. Like, and he's just slowly like. Put, I'm just looking around. It's like, how are we supposed to get out? Well, I'm hoping the map shows us. I'd like to fix the little cut on your forehead before we leave, if you don't mind. He's like, what? And he, do, he sort of, he's like, ah! and he faints. He's scared of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like shaking my head like, oh he my god. He collapses on the side. Bless his heart. Well, before hey, we yeah, separate from him. Captain, eh? So yeah, what was that, Hobart? Before we, well, before we separate from him, I would, I would like to actually like set up like kind of a base camp. Yeah, you can do that. No, like what, like a campfire just, in the shelter of the boat yeah, sort of thing? Yeah, just yeah? bits okay. and pieces, just a basic whatever and, okay. you know. So you set up like a fire and there's um, it's almost like a wood um, shelter that you've made almost like a like a windbreak type thing um, to help. Um, Toby is coming round. Um, and I'm guessing, Ali, you're treating. Yeah, I just want to address his... He's just like, am I gonna die? Oh, I'll, you're I'll fine, darling. It it's just, it's just a very, it's just a flesh wound. It's just a small cut. It needs to okay. be covered up so you don't get any sand or sweat in it. Okay, and I guess you're just like slowly patching him up. And yeah. He he yeah. sits there like a well-behaved child, <laughs> just letting you do it as he sits cross-legged on the sand. Mm -hmm. um, and I give him, I want to give him, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked into my my explorer's pack, but if I have some kind of vial, I assume it's like a tea or some kind of calming tea, and I, I say, just make a little cup of this with the fire, and I'm sure it'll calm your nerves. He sort of takes it from you, he's like, okay, thanks, and he sort of goes off. I'll ask, I'll ask Ellie, uh, hey lady, uh, I got a bit of a calming agent in my poisonous kit, if you think that will help him. <laughs> Oh, Might sure. help him sleep. Won't kill him, mind you. I got some of that too. But... Might help him oh, relax. Time lavender tea. He seems a bit wound up um, over this boat. I'm uh, sure he'd welcome anything to help him sleep. No, with. no, no but, offense. Like he hears this, he's like, I don't really want to sleep on my own here. It's like a, it's like, <laughs> it's like a Valium opiate. You know, just something that'll okay. ease it to drug. Okay, so he takes that. Um, I get the right, oh, right dose together for him and prepare it, maybe in you know a little little water. Here you go, mate. We'll fix that boat right up for you. You guys here, we'll get you out. Evidence I'll, continues I'll fix to the mount. Boat. I, I need to fix the boat for when you guys get back. We'll get you out of here. I can help with that. Uh, Remember, no, I'm a pot, uh, sailor. I look over at the goblin. I'm a part a uh, sailor. Don't forget that. And I look over at Blanc as well, and I'm like, see, he's helping. <laughs> helping, yes. There's pros and cons. <laughs> Are you making notes? <laughs> is yeah. Blanc making notes? Blanc is not only making notes, he is smoking a pipe. He's got a long hat on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are so prepared. I am very impressed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's all this going on. Curtis is like, brought out her notebook again and just like, write everything that happened down. And she's just, she's like, this is the most eventful time I've had in months. This will be a great, excellent story. And she just continues writing down what has happened. Okay, so Toby is trying to relax whilst he also starts to fix the boat. And. What are the rest of you doing? Are you going to start going into the jungle? Um. How's it work with the campfire and so forth? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how how am I with the campfire? Like, do I need to roll like a nature check or no, something? No, I or, think it's all you know? pretty. Um, That's all pretty much set up. If, if you're, yeah, a, if, if you're I mean, a veteran, you will have had to do these sorts of no, things. Oh yeah. Before, yeah. So I will take that as a. Okay. Yeah, I would just. Yeah, if I if if it's good with everybody else, I wouldn't mind go ahead and scouting ahead a little bit into the into the jungle and 
Jess yeah. will go with you. See, see what's up. She's okay. dumb. She doesn't know any better. <laughs> okay, so if there's time more. to hang loose, I'll be helping Toby with the boat. Okay. Will you do that? Yep. Uh, I'll help you. Courage. I've got little hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Blunk, Grushnad, and Courage, you're staying at the site. I'm assuming Ali will as well. And Hobon <laughs> and Tex, you guys head into the jungle. As you um, head in there, this is a dense, dense jungle. There. Well, this Short is... sword swinging, cutting limbs down. Just keep on going. I can set it on fire if you want. You can. Uh, um, I'm... <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. You, um, in fact, can you both roll a perception for me, please? Sure thing. Okay. Um, due to you um, moving through lots of terrain in your past, because you're a veteran Hobart, you will sense that there is something moving in these trees. Okay, then I stop whatever I'm doing and kind of it's takes it's with me right yeah yeah it takes yeah it. She, i just kind of let, let her know kind of get down and we're gonna try to sneak i'm gonna try to do little hand signals to her that she probably doesn't understand and and just kind of follow me and then i'll i'll try to sneak around to like a tree where i can get higher up okay. kind of get a view okay so you're climbing a tree pretty much yeah okay you roll an athletics for me please you scurry up that tree you sort of shoot up there and boys text what are you doing at this point Is i'm, it, I'm gonna follow up the tree roll a strength check. <laughs> okay not as elegantly or quietly but you do get up this tree she is drunk, and as if always. You, exactly. Well, you're recovering slowly now. This water sort of sobered you up a bit. Um, can I have another perception check, please? <laughs> okay, so Hobart. Wow, okay. Um, Hobart, you will notice on the floor, there just seem to be some sort of markings on the floor from where you've just come from that you couldn't see. When you're on the ground is there's like no tracks or it anything on the ground tracks if, um, okay do you want to roll survival and see if you yeah let's let's do that <laughs> okay um, <laughs> on the nat 20 you see these tracks as footprints of men or women okay. but other people have been here before you and it is leading deeper into the forest Okay, and okay, so uh, at this point, I'm thinking we ought to head back towards, sneak back towards camp and try to let everybody know that we aren't the only people here. Okay. I think as, like, as the, the repairs of the uh, ship is going on, I have my uh, detail reading glasses on, <laughs> and I'm just like looking at all the details to see if there's anything missing that needs to be fixed. Any like little like cracks and details with these not magical glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I did like I, it's, it's a, she's a little bit of a jokester with the glasses. The <laughs> Trying to read all the details. Um, okay, um, it's more Toby just wants to check it over. Um, you see Hobard and Tex come out of the forest. I saw trees! It's pretty. A lot thicker than the trees back in Nakanoa. We just got them thin little pine trees there. It's not too much. But that was, that was, that, I'm impressed. I'm legitimately impressed. And there were also tracks. Um, human. Tracks? Yeah. Humanoids, two feet running. And I point to the direction that they currently were kind of going. And I'm like, uh, we're not the only people here. Do you think it's related to the uh, 
eagle person that we saw back in the town? Uh, if the eagle person went human form, maybe. It could also be people trying to protect the thing we're here to find. Or maybe they just it's want the... Hand. Or the... We're looking for the, a book. Oh, right. He didn't know if there's pictures in it, though. How's it gonna read it if it don't have no pictures? There's words. We can just read the words. Words? What are words? <sighs> she just gives a big sigh. It's like, <sighs> just, just never mind. It is starting to get slightly darker. Not dark, but you can. F the sun is slowly going down. More of a dusk sort of feel. Mm. Where question? When when you guys were exploring, was this? Were you following the map, or were you just going into the forest a few uh, meters? Or I was just kind of scouting into the forest. I heard something moving and. By the time we got to the spot where they were, we saw tracks, and that's what that's when I decided to come back. I figured it was safe to come back and and let you guys know that that's you know that we weren't here alone. Well, thank you for scouting. I say we take one more look at the map before the sun leaves us and see what the plan is. I'm over with Toby with the boat. I presume I still have the map, so yeah, I've been yeah. over there. Yeah, you still on that with him. Okay, so you hold up um, this map, and it looks to have completely changed. Um, there mm. is no longer water or um, a small island. There is a layout, and it is just a very simple, straight line with a few kinks and curves and waves through a dense forest towards what looks like a temple and statue of the book. Never seen a map like this just change. Now it's like the island. Way in the that, is very useful, though. that is very handy. Must be some sort of unique magic. Very interesting. Useless as an iron pitchfork and a wish hunt. <laughs> well, when do you want to try to tackle this temple, mates? I think it'd be best to do it in the morning. That that way we rest it up and uh, you know we can see. I, I'm feeling pretty tired from drowning. You almost drowned, but I saved you. Well, uh, still, the, the process of drowning was quite tiring. Thank you, though. I, I very much appreciate your efforts. You were very courageous. <laughs> And that's my name! It's Courage! That's the reason why I'm so courageous. <laughs> Thank you. Well, feel free to rest your heads, friends, and I will take first watch. Okay. I'll go after Ellie. So, throughout the night, um, it's, it's pretty peaceful. You can hear lots of bugs and like crickets and stuff in the jungle as um, darkness falls. Um, Ali, you're keeping watch. Can you roll your perception for me, please? Ooh. Thank you. That's... Sorry. 16. 16. Okay. So as um, you look around, you think out of the corner of your eye, you see something move through the tree line, almost as if it was watching you before it disappears back into the jungle. Can I step about 10 feet closer to the, the jungle, the tree line? Uh-huh. And then do another perception? Yes, you can. Ooh, ooh. 25. Whew. Okay. Um, Whatever this is, it is moving close to the ground. It has four legs, a long tail, and it is huge. Oh, okay. And it is shifting through the tree line. I would like to... I'll point out, it doesn't appear to be attacking, like, looking to attack. It looks more interested in seeing where everything is. Yeah, I want to 
do we have any food? Does anyone have any food? I, I guess so we have both. like rations. You all have right. rations, so you should have some in your pack as well. Okay. There's loads not... of stuff on the ship. There were loads of biscuits and bread and cheese. Mm-hmm. Well, Allie is vegan herself. So she's going to go get some meat from one of her companions and toss it into the tree line and see if that satisfies the thing that's inspecting her. You hear a huge snap as whatever it is grabs the the meat and then disappears back into the jungle. I'm up at this point, correct? Yes, yes you are. Okay, can I make some kind of nature check to kind of guess at what this critter is? Yes, of course you can. Okay, um, you're not too sure exactly what it is, but it's very reptile in nature. Hmm. I think that's a crocagator. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's leaving us alone now. I didn't want to bother it very much. Just seemed to be curious as to why we were here. Quickly, thank you very much to uh, to Cataflipsy, who comes in with a sub that's eight months in a row, um, and he gives a nat 20 to the DM, Alice. For me to... Hey, a nat 20, did you say? He gives you a nat 20 to do uh, with what you will. Haha, ha, two. The tables have turned. Okay, um, <laughs> so as um, you switch turns on the watch, and you guys get a peaceful night's sleep, and the light... Um, the sun is slowly coming up. It is early, early. The cricket sounds start to die down and the jungle is now alive with bird sounds and all manner of creatures. I've got second watch, so I'll, I'll get up and take over. Anything happen while you were on your watch, Ellie? Just some curious creatures, you know people living or things living here on the island we are visitors after all so i wanted to keep friends with the creatures makes good sense I'll everything set up was fine on my watch Ugh. Ugh, she's so rubbing weird. her eyes mm. texas just passed out by the fire somewhere and kind of loudly snoring And I've just been up and down, kind of going between uh, 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 orcs. A uh, what? Huh? What? <laughs> Blanc would have been sleeping somewhere near Grishnog, uh, and like sort of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are you guys doing? Are you heading into the jungle or? <gasps> To the jungle! Yep, I will head into the jungle. Uh, try to keep a little distance ahead of of the group and just kind of kind of scout ahead and carve a path through. Okay. Texas is going to join the group. Yeah. We'll have a quick look at the map before we step off just to get where that that trail yeah. through the jungle it's was. The same as it was oh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Just to Texas. clean ourselves. All right, here we go. Then, Goblin, you take up the rear, eh? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay in the back. I'll stay the first one in because I've got a ranged weapon. So if we have an issue, I can, and I'm short. Okay, so you guys start walking through the jungle. It is as dense as ever. Um, you hear lots of animals and things, but most of them that like, you see monkeys up in the trees and all these parrots, beautiful, colorful birds. Um, they sort of fly away from you if you come anywhere near, not the monkeys, the birds. Um, so you keep um, walking. You're walking for a good hour and a half. Um, and there, is, there seems to be a path that is, looks like it's been trampled down by the people who have come here before you. Um, can I have a perception from everyone, please? Okay. Uh, boop. 15. 16. Okay. <laughs> Those are two. Those oh. are 15 and 16. You will hear voices 
up ahead. You hear people. <gasps> and I just can't see green. anything because it's definitely through like a thick, dense, um, just greenery. Um, but you can hear people. Yeah. Am I going crazy again, or do y'all hear those voices too? Because I can't ever tell the difference. I'll be honest. Shh. Yeah, I you am. hear them too. I can hear them. Let's shh. Can we tell? Is it you said it was coming from up ahead, or it is coming from up ahead, very close by? There's some logs almost uh, around, lots of greenery. And you, the other thing I will say is the huge rock face is now closer to you. Okay. You seem to be reaching your destination. Can we see Hobart, or is he that far ahead that? Hobart hasn't seen anything um, either. You can see him up ahead, um, but he also hasn't heard the voices, apparently. Right. Um, so yeah, he's almost walking blindly into this. I'll try to dash up there to catch up to Hobart. Okay. And could I uh, maybe roll stealth mm -hmm. to do that with yep. stealth? Yeah, you ninja it up there. You whiz along the path and grab hold. Yeah, put my hand on his shoulder and stop him. Wait, what, huh? What? What? Uh, mate, Who's that? I'll listen quietly hey. and I'll make, I'll get real quiet, see if you can hear the voices. I hear voices up front. Okay, I'll stop and try to keep quiet and listen for the voices. Okay, so I'm guessing the rest of you have all caught up to Krishna and Hobart now. You can hear the voices louder. They seem to be just on the other side of this greenery. Uh, let's uh, take a peek first at what what's ahead of us and see if we can't go around them. Okay, so if you could... Are you all doing this, all having a look, or...? I'm fairly stealthy. Yeah. I could try to sneak up there. Well, 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 I'm going to take a peek. I'm going to take a peek. Okay. All I'm just going to listen. I'm going to I'm going to listen cuz I don't Everyone who's looking roll me a stealth and a perception please. I'm just going to Ooh. Wow. God, you're doing well. <laughs> Ooh, very stealthy. My stealth was a 6, but my perception was uh 25. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna listen. I'm not gonna look. So I think that's just a perception for me. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. I like I like disappeared into the jungle. Fifteen. You became the jungle. Yeah, <laughs> you are now one did. with the jungle. He's not just in the jungle. He is. Welcome the jungle. to the jungle. We got fun and games. So as you do this, you see a group of people. Um, you see a group of people um, wielding magic and huge axes. And you see the sheer face of rock and a huge carving um, next to um, what looks like could be an entrance to the temple. There is a carving of a woman robed with a crown on her head holding um, an open book in her palms with people <laughs> bowing down either side of her. Now, Hobart, I need you to make me a second perception, please. Okay. You recognize one of the men up at the front. You recognize <coughs> one, of the, one of the men, that, in fact, who looks to be leading the mission as he is shouting the orders. Um... To be your old commander as he leads and he's shouting um there are sorcerers trying to explode through this uh big stone door okay well um at this point i am drawing my longbow and kind of getting him in my sight um well that relationship didn't end well and i will i will hold it hold it there to see what what happens as far as the uh, other people the, you know what they're doing as you are doing this you hear a cry as an eagle flies overhead it doesn't seem to have seen you but it flies mm. overhead 
and lands and quickly shifts into the same person you saw before trying to steal the map just before the temple door. Seeing Hobart's reaction, I'm going to draw my hand crossbow, not knowing necessarily why, but you know, if I see one dude arm, I'm there. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, from the back, if I see people arming up, I guess uh, I will make sure my chainmail is in place, pull my sword, perhaps pull my chainmail, like, hood, ford, and withdraw my mace. I now look covered from head to toe in metal. <laughs> now Tex has her hands out. She goes, y'all don't fuck me over this time, okay? Please. Don't want to hurt me. Tex, are you okay? You're, you're talking to yourself. Oh, they just, they have a mind of their own sometimes. And what is Ali doing? Oh, tea time. I think I'm just going to cast um, Guidance on myself. Mm -hmm. And that just gives me a d4 to roll whenever I'm making an ability check. Okay. Uh, the, the next time I make an ability check. The sorcerer, um, the sorcerers, I should say, stop as this man, more, this hawk lands and morphs back into a, a very rogue human. You hear him shouting. Um, he doesn't seem happy with them at all. And Hobart will see the man um, known as his commander grab this guy and shove him up against the wall, pointing at this door, shouting at him to do something, in which he holds his hands up, moves towards the door, and you don't see what he presses, but something does, and the... Um, it's like two huge wheels of stone that were the door shift aside to, to open the tomb, and they all th they all begin to walk in. Okay, them. and they all they all seem like very focused on going through this this door, and not anywhere focused on the the my command my old commander or the the hawk guy. The, the commander is more at the front, so there's people behind him. Ah, uh, um, okay. So, like, so, he is leading so no the, clear shot. I see. I'm afraid see. not. So like he's pushing this uh, guy who was recognized who transformed into the hawk forwards. Into this Does the bird guy still look like he's injured? No, he seems fine. Okay, that's good news. Everyone slowly disappears into the temple one by one. Uh, should we follow them? I thought we let them settle because, you know, I've heard about this kind of temples and things, and they always have all kinds of traps and nasty things and swinging blades and giant rolling boulders and all kinds of shit. I thought we let them start off and let them trigger some of that shit so we don't have to worry. We can just follow slowly, stealthily behind them, you know. And then, when we get to the book and they get it, that's when we attack them. And then we kill them. It was like a bunch of squirrels. Uh, wait, um, no, I'm, I'm not sure about this killing idea. I mean, these could be innocent uh, temple dwellers just like us. I mean, uh, what gives us the, the right to attack them? Uh, oh, bless I, your heart for thinking I'm innocent. Uh, uh, I, I, I kind of point out to the the, my old commander and go he's nowhere near innocent you know this guy mate yeah he's I used to be part of a mercenary company until mm. that guy fucked us over and sort of like a uh, pirate he's eh a mean fella. doesn't go to church kills little babies Something like that. Do I need to, uh, and I pull out a little vial, do I need to put a little something on my bolts? Uh, now, he, he, no, I, I learned, no, he's mine. I learned just yesterday, he looks over at Ali, that the actions of the past don't define who we are today. Maybe he's made a change. He can't I change. I agree. He can't well, change. I am also not one for blindly attacking an unsuspecting party, but I do think that the wisest option is to hold uh, a good distance and see what they accomplish first. And if it seems that they are after the same thing we are, which it seems that is the case, perhaps we can reason with them or trick them somehow into getting what we came here for. 
I don't know. I got a gut feeling about them. And, you know, my pappy, Stephen F. Arkin, he says, you always follow your gut or you end up in the shitter. <laughs> Stephen F. I love it. All the Texas references. So good. That's not working, no, but... It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, nowhere. I love that you get the knack of nowhere reference because I'm pretty sure no well, one else does. I've driven through there enough times on 59 to yes. I went to college there. I love it. Stephen of Austin, right? Yeah. Hence Pappy <laughs> Stephen of our coming. So are you guys creeping forwards? Yes. Uh, well, I don't know yeah. about creeping. I'm covered in chain mail. I'm more jingling forwards. Blinking. Okay, well on stealth rolls you now have a disadvantage. Um, but other than that, you guys don't really have to creep for the bit to the cave because they've all gone in. Um, as you approach the mouth of the cave, this is huge. You are minuscule compared to this huge doorway and carving that is just in this sheer face of rock. And you see steps that just disappear down into the darkness. Y'all want me to go a few steps ahead, mates? So I'm pretty stealthy. Being a, a, a sailor and all. I, c I can go behind you. Sure. And I'm st I'll am be right around both of them just to keep an eye on what the, what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, my, I look around at my rear end. Mind you, don't touch the goods, lady. No one, you know, she's a little, little grab assy, you know. <laughs> and as all this talking is going on, I'm going ahead and going on in. Yeah, okay. As quiet you, as I can. Hovard, you, you um, go right in. You are slightly ahead of everyone else. Blunk, I'm assuming you're at the back again, clunking away. Um, so you all go in. As you do, you hear a scream. And... Told you. <laughs> you hear a scream, which you can only assume is from one of the men that you saw and it's you hear it's almost like a, a mechanism goes kachunk as something is definitely is no longer alive I think you're right Hex my pappy says I'm always right it's a family trait well it's not like my mom and it's creepy <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys um, go down further you um, after a little bit the floor flattens out and you can see torches where these people have lit the corridor and this corridor is long it is huge and you can see a glowing door at the end of the corridor um, a dead body is laying before you as what looks like huge um blades have come up from the floor and destroyed this person who is now laying on the ground. I want to look the body over. <gasps> are you touching the body, going near? How, how close are you going to this uh, body? I'm just going to lean over it a little bit. You, It is like right in the middle of this um, yeah. pathway. Um, so. I think I'd like to make a a perception check and an inv maybe an investigation check on that just to make sure nothing else is going to come out of the floor. Yeah. Okay, you can tell that um, this was triggered by somewhere on the floor. If you step up to this body, you could probably trigger it again. I'll, I'll kind of hold. Hang on, mates. I think there's a pressure plate or something on the floor that set this thing off. So the blades are not, the blades are gone. The blades are gone, they have sunk into the floor. You can see clear holes. Um, it looks like there was maybe a sand over it before, yeah. but now, yeah. My suggestion would be to maybe jump over the body, not walk up to it and step over it. Somewhere there's some pressure plates that are gonna cut y'all in half. Can you see how far we have to jump? Yeah, can I? Yeah, it's it's not a um, you probably wouldn't struggle too much with the jump. However, Blunk might. Um, I'll carry him. Having little legs. 
I might be small, but I'm surprisingly nimble. <laughs> I can carry you if you're having trouble. Uh, well, hang, hang, hang on, let me just let me just uh, assess how fit I'm feeling right now. <laughs> uh, perhaps, guess... perhaps I could like climb up. I don't know how you know well these walls are, but is, the they're like are possibly. The walls are dead straight. However, okay. they have got um, they are big blocks, huge blocks. So there are ridges uh, in between. Yeah, I was wondering maybe I could like climb up there and tie like a pitfall type rope, mm -hmm. and we can just swing across. <laughs> you can do that if you want. Roll an athletics yeah. for climbing because you've got to climb above this pin. This thing. <laughs> Probably not. No. Okay. Um. Oh no. <laughs> You uh, climb and you slip, and as you do, all of these um, huge like knife type things shoot up from the ground. But you're still clinging on, and they just catch you and catch the side of your leg. You're a one d four of damage, please, as it nicks you. Oh no! Am I able to tell precisely as I'm watching this guy where the trigger was by this happening? Um, no, you can't. It seems to be, um, pressure points and you're not too sure. Okay. So we just gotta jump over the, uh, switches and make all these spikes pop up, right? Oh, wow, four. <laughs> four and a one that's, that's, that's the one I got when I fell face flat on the boat. <laughs> so, if you could make another athletics to try and climb further up, and then a dexterity to throw and loop. There are some things hanging from the ceiling that you could probably... Sorry, what am I doing again? Sorry, roll another athletics to climb further. You catch yourself and pull yourself back up. And then okay. roll another dexterity to fix. Um, I think, yeah, that's fine. You get up to the top of the wall and then a dexterity just to fix the rope. Perfect. You do that and yeah. from where you are, you can probably jump to the other side if you really throw yourself. That um, sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you do that. So the rest of you, you see him land safely on the other side. I applaud his efforts. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll grab the rope, mm -hmm. test how strong it is. It is strong. It is securely fixed. Why don't I swing across? That way I can cover us while you all are swinging. And I'll take a uh, swing across. Okay, can you roll a strength to hold on as you do? An I athletics, sure rather. Sorry, an athletics. athletics. Even better. Oh, you naturally oh, do. You pirates of the Caribbean style, because you are used to sailing. You do a Three jack and you swing across Woo! and land poised on the other side before throwing the rope back. All right, All right I got this. I'm on. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take the next swing. Okay, Talk, talking of nat twenties, let's just remind Wily Hobbit and Lockstar and Alice that they all have nat twenties yeah. to yep. use. Good. Yep. You swing. You sort of stumble a little bit, but you. Like, you don't land elegantly, but you do get there. I'm saving that nat 20 just in case. Like, I'm saving it. I feel like I'm gonna need it later. <laughs> uh, who's going next? I'll go uh, next. I'll go. Okay, no, you. After you. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Athletics? Oh. Well. Six. <gasps> oh, no! Okay. Um you you do swing on the rope and you slip. oh let me get my d4 because i just cast ah, that thing yes. on me, actually if you yeah but that won't do much probably because <laughs> it's an eight now <laughs> how close is she you could catch her if as she yeah. swings so, so as you give swing, it a shot. split and if course i could roll a strength for me to try and grab her and strength her or athletics over. uh do a strength save. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Oh, I can't um, walk. You, I can heal myself. You, you fall, but you fall on the edge. You trigger these knives that come out, and one of them goes straight through your leg before retracting Ooh, again. Ooh. And you pull yourself off. Ah! Ooh, you one have one d six of damage. Yeah. Please. Okay, which one of us? Is that me or Ali? Um, Ali. Ali. Okay. Three damage. I'll, I'll pull her. I'm sorry, lady. 
I tried. Oh, you I was just being clumsy. <laughs> for, a, for a grumpy half-orc, um, Grishnog is oddly loyal, um, especially where the captain was concerned. You're kind of like, for a jerk, this guy's oddly loyal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is um, Courage and Blunk doing? Uh, Courage, oh, you, go, you go first. I'll watch your back. Uh, uh, okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Like, she's nervous. She doesn't want to get killed. You'll, you'll do fine. See, see those knives? They just went in and out. In and out. Like, that's uh, uh, easy to heal. Don't you worry uh, about that. Nice and clean. Yes. Okay. I'm not used to encouraging people, but I'm hoping this is somewhat motivational. Yes. Thank you for your advice. You, Unlike those knives, you're more sharp than they are, as I give him an inspiration. I was gonna say, can I can I try and like persuade Courage to give her like an advantage or disadvantage based on like a persuasion roll or something? <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I give him. I, I'm giving. I'm giving him an bad, inspiration. If it's bad, she gets a disadvantage. And I get an inspiration dice on that as well. Then I so that's one d four. Yep. So it's one d six. You D6. are rolling your strength to get across, or your athletics, I should say to um, get across with advantage. Yay! I was going to use that inspiration for when you go on the rope. Don't waste it. Okay. Here I go. <laughs> you sail across um, and land sort of like a gymnast to the other side. Um, I did it! And Blunk, how are you doing this? Okay. I've got this. I said, just wait for that rope to come back on the upswing. No, not this time. Not this time. Texas, <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. I've, I've got this. I've got this. And he's going to take a little run and he's going to take a jump. Would you want athletics or acrobatics? It doesn't matter. They're both please. the same. A athletics. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. You grab hold. I'm going to try to catch him. Slip sliding down if Griffin oh, can do no. a strength check to try and grab him as he goes down ah. you catch him just in time like you literally grab oh. him uh mission impossible style when he's like he's yeah. just above the uh points as you pull him <laughs> back in I get him. wow you saved me <laughs> all right then we'll have no more talks of part uh, sailors then all right mate i i, I i've gotta Take say it. you've been awful kind Turns out that stuff I was preaching earlier seems to be true. You're all right. I trust you. Head is head. I'm so glad you're okay, Blunk. I was so worried. Uh, well, in that moment of falling, I was pretty worried too. Um, but I'm okay. Thanks to our, thanks to Grishnog here. He's, he's, he's a good guy. You should look after Thank him. Thank you. Thank you, Grishnog. So, you can see down the other end of the corridor this room and you can hear people talking. It seems to be quite scuffled and argue, like an argument type that's going on. Um, you can see ahead of you lots of other traps that have already been triggered. There are um, walls that have seem to have come out and smashed into the side. You see another um, of the men uh, Yikes. Like on the wall. It's more... Um, <laughs> like a flattened pancake. Yeah, there's lots. Of, all these traps have already been Man paste. triggered. <laughs> well, darn, he's just flatter than my cousin Peggy Sue Arcana. You know, she never could get a chest. Looked like a 13 year old boy. Triggered. Um, does that mean that they won't be set off again? They, or... These ones don't look like they will be set off again. Whatever has come in uh -huh. has already taken. Okay. The life. Cool. There are three or four dead bodies now. In the path, in your pathway. Okay. Do we do we know how many were in their party? It looked to be about eight that went in, okay, including so. um, the guy who transformed into a hawk and so the commander. They're dwindling. Curse you, eagle guy! You're you're thievery. <laughs> it, it, wait a minute, is he crushed? He Somebody looks. Is. Oh yeah. boy. Kind of looks like a pancake. Oh, well, may maybe, uh, should we just like rush down and try and loot his body? Like, it's not stealing now, it's public property. I don't 
not how you do. I wouldn't mind having a look. Should we check in the, uh, the laws. cockroach in the kitchen? Is the uh, is the room safe? It can the trap be tr be uh, triggered again or? It looks like they've already gone. Oh. I think we'll be fine carrying on if we want to catch up. But if you want to take a look at what this man has on him, wow! I got an idea. I got an idea. We're gonna test it first. And Tex takes a piece of like beef jerky out of her pouch and throws it like towards the the corpse just to see if anything activates. The beef jerky rolls and tumbles like a tumbleweed that you will recognize <sighs> towards the other side. Uh, and that that's more the west side, but yeah, I've seen a tumbleweed. Yeah. Now I've I've kind of had to spend some time <laughs> uh, learning how to deal with not being too smart. Okay, and uh, my my thought process is that if that guy <laughs> is a smart guy, maybe he'll have some things on him like the map he tried to steal that could uh, stop us from needing to be smart. I mean, we can look. I just don't see how it's not damaged by the the squish. As all this is going on, Curse just has her fake, her so-called smart glasses on as she is trying to look around. Hmm. I'll, I'll approach the body cautiously. Uh, I'm a rogue. Yeah, I'm a looter. Um, the body, it is pretty mangled. Um, joints where joints probably shouldn't have been and oof, a bit messy. Um, kind of moving things around with my dagger, poking around. The, he looks like he had like a satchel on him, but whatever was in it has been taken out, probably by. His looks clothes. like the party already cleaned up the party. Well, we'll just have to clean them out too. Okay, so you guys walking to the end of the corridor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you uh, are you doing this stealthily or are you? Um, I'm, I'm going as I'm going as stealthily as I can. Okay. I'm, yes, I'm going, going front. If you will roll a stealth check for me, that'd be great, please. <laughs> I'm going down the hallway like a bull. Next, buddy. No one here. Everyone here is me. I'm <laughs> hey, hey. Now be a, I'm invisible. that will be a nine, Alice, for me, because uh, of my disadvantage wearing my chainmail. Ching, yeah. ching, 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 ching. <laughs> and eleven for me. Eleven. I got a, I got a nat twenty. So you ninja, you are as if you are part of the tomb itself. Um, the, <laughs> the five, <laughs> seven, and the eight. You're not necessarily super stealthy. You make some noise as you walk. They're very busy as you approach the door. Some of them sort of um, say, like, "What was that?" And. They don't seem too bothered, like they, they go back to what they're doing. And as you look through this doorway, it is a huge room that opens up and there is gold everywhere. Gold, jewels, ancient vases. There is um, gold um, little statues and things like that. And in the center of the room, surrounded by all this gold is a small uh, pedestal where another gold statue, what looks like the queen of the carving that you saw outside, is holding a book, an artifact of a book. Who's seeing this? Just courage, right? Um, no, you're all seeing this. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I'm just very quietly. Um, I just, you guys don't even notice me anymore. I'm just ninja -ed. Can someone roll a perception for me, please? I'll get on that. Oh, my glasses! Okay, firstly, um, Hobart would recognize. Uh, <laughs> yes! Whoever, um, you look on the walls by the door and you see a similar carving to the one you saw outside with the queen holding the book. In this, the queen is painted white and the book she holds is black. And you see people fleeing from her. And what looks like um, there are natural things like trees and plants dying by her feet. This looks very much like the book on the pedestal that you have seen. And upon close inspection, you can yeah, like, I have a net twenty torn and covered completely with like ink and tears and scratches, and what looks like dried blood maybe you're not too sure but there is 
the whole book itself is black. It seems to have almost like a very tattered leather um, outer side, but the pages itself, from where you look, look to be written on a stone. Mm. Only Hobart sees this? Um, only um, Hobart well, yeah, 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 that'd be cool. Well, I, I already rolled a perception. Oh, and courage, too. courage will as well. Yeah, because I got a net 20. Can I cast detect magic? Uh, you can. Um, as you do this, you um, pick up probably the biggest sense of magic that you have ever felt in your life. The you feel almost like it's thick in the air. It's all over the jewels and everything in the room too. It seems to be in everything, on everything, and touching everything. Can in the room itself, you see um, the commander has forced the, the man who turns into a hawk to the ground, shouting at him um, and pointing at this book with two other guards stood either side of him. Could I cast Detect Evil and Good to see if there are good or evil magics at play? Yes, you can. Um, uh, does so... it reveal alignment as well? Yeah, my Detect Magic tells me the school of magic that is present. So, as you do this, you sense a an amazing, it's like good magic. You can sense something and it is radiating. However, you sense an equal, pure evil magic within this room. Uh oh. Mm. I don't like where this is heading. Uh, I'm I'm getting a bad reading off of this whole thing. There's like some really really good stuff going on, and there's something really really bad. I don't really know how to interpret it. And look, there's to deal there's with those mates up in there. Well, they don't, I don't see any other way in. Let's just kick down the door and, and question them. Uh... You oh. hear, or Hobart will hear the commander because he'll recognize his voice. Going, you touch it, you pick it up. Pick it up. And this man is like, no, I, won't, I won't go near it. And I can see him, or I just hear him. You can, um, you see him again. He's got the other guards surrounding him. Okay. Um, so no clear shot of. No, the... again, there's not going to uh, be a clear shot from the doorway as to where they right. stand. Um, and he finally says, "Oh, for God's sake!" And he pushes this guy over and reaches to grab the book. And as he holds it he doesn't remove it from the thing he doesn't get a chance okay. you see him start to shudder and tweet and he backs up and he just starts panicking and he 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 starts freaking out and he's just like as if he's like, i can hear them i can hear them and he he moves he pushes aside from his guards and runs out the door straight into you guys he doesn't seem to be with it at all. Mm. Howdy! Um, I'm pulling my short sword out. He just <laughs> starts screaming. He's dropped to the floor and he is screaming and he's just like, get them out, get them out. And he's hitting the walls. He is. I think this mate's lost his mind. Tackle him, subdue him. Can I touch him? that book, messed him up. I want to I wanna slap him in the back of the head with the flat of my short sword. Yeah. Strength, please. <laughs> Ooh, ow. If anything, you have just caressed the back of his head. Like, just sort of really. Um, can I just knock? Can I just knock him out with like the, like the blunt side of my dagger? Just can I try that? If you roll a strength as well. Dagger yeah, weapon. I'm going to use a nat one, one of the nat ones for you. Uh, God damn it! So he's he's he backs up. He sort of looks at you, all very confused, backing up. He said, like, "I can't leave it. I must take it." And then he spots Hobard and stands up and goes very wide-eyed and immediately pulls out his sword. He's like, "Can, can I just?" Tackle him like that. That would have been what I was. Yeah, trying to do go, again, roll a athletics if you're gonna literally. Are you going for the legs like rugby? Tennis? <laughs> Never mind. Don't no, 
again, you're giving them a bit of a hug. It's not really um, much as happening. I, I feel like I feel like it's a bad time to do this, but he's gone mad, and I'm kind of mad that he stole our map. So I'm just gonna just gonna stab him in the neck with my dagger. Okay, you okay, ro um, roll for that, please. Yep. <laughs> it's like uh, I, well done. While this chaos is happening, can I make nope. a history? What was the actual no. role for it? Was that? Oh, was that? It? Okay. Um, you I rolled an eight. Knocks, he knocks you aside and then Ow. punches um, you for... Never mind, he got on that one. Um, <laughs> he is absolutely out of his mind. He is swinging I, madly. I just like rub my shoulder and say, snap out of it! <laughs> Um, I'm gonna cast major armor on myself real quick, just in case. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> I just go snap out of it! Um, he pushes you aside, and noticing Hobart again, swings for an attack. Can we all roll an initiative, please? I'm gonna uh, okay. draw my rapier. Hey! Well, 20! Oof. Oof. Uh, sorry, what was um, Ali's one? 12. 12, okay, so. I gotta get my initiative glasses on, because I'm in battle mode. There we go. Okay, so, courage actually. Wow, we suck, y'all. Some of us do. Goes first. <laughs> As, okay, so um, I go first? Okay. Yeah, you go first. He swings and completely misses Hobart. So he made a move at Hobart. Yes, okay, so okay. I'm gonna try and attack him again with my dagger because I have that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and attack him with my dagger. Like, yes, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> that does uh, not hit. He does it know. again and he is pushed towards Grushnag as he moves. And it's Grushnag's turn. All right, uh, I will. Uh, is anybody else leaving the room coming our way? Uh, no, they at the moment. Um, you notice the guy who turned into a hawk is starting to attack the other two. Okay, I'll let that go. I'll take a swing with the rapier. Mm -hmm. Again, you miss. He ducks out of the way. This guy is. What crazy. is with these attack rolls? Now it is his turn. He swings round in a in a rage and with a twelve. What is your armor class? Sorry. Who's Her. who? Uh, Grishnag. Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> I shall look, and it says fourteen. Okay. Um, he misses you as well. God, we're all rubbish at this. Uh, <laughs> it is now Ali's go. Oh, um, Ali doesn't want to harm this guy because something just fucked with him already, so she doesn't want to cause any more damage. And I want to disengage and instead keep an eye on what's happening in the room ahead of us. Okay, so in the room ahead of you, you see the sorcerer has managed to... It looks like his hands were tied before, um, mm. and he is fighting off these um, other people, uh, one of these guards, and one of the other guards is shouting about um, having to do his duty and he is approaching the book. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep watching, see if he also gets crazy and loses his mind like this guy. Okay, uh, it is Texas go. Ooh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Oh God, you can hear it coming out in me now. See, I'm at that beer point. Um, She's gonna firebolt the guy that's messing with us. Mm -hmm. That is not a hit, I'm afraid. Okay. Womp womp. Um, womp womp. Okay, oh, now, I gotta, and I gotta do the the wild magic thing. As long as I don't roll the one, we're good. <laughs> okay, so Hobard and Blunk, you actually both have a nat one. You can either choose who goes first or roll again. Unmute myself. I think you're muted too, maybe. 
Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. You can go first. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll go first and I'll swing with my short sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not a hit. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, we're all sorry. just flailing madly. And Blunk, <laughs> Blunk what are you up to? Uh, Blunk is going to run towards said person, mm -hmm. uh, shouting, um, You're being disorderly! And uh, he's gonna try and uh, hit him with his mace, but not in a way to wound, in a way to stun. Okay. Like a policeman would use a truncheon, I'm looking to take him to the ground. Like a police baton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Not, not to hurt. Not to hurt. Well, to have, but not to. That's, that's not rolling. Oh, that's because I'm clicking on my inventory. There we go. There we go. It doesn't hit. I'm wow. No, hang on, hang on. I want, we what? just can't even hit the broad side of a barn, y'all. <laughs> How armoured does he look? No, no, the 12 didn't hit, then no. No, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we're at Courage's turn. Yes, again. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to cast a sp I'm going to actually cast uh, Dissident Whispers on him. Mm -hmm. And he has to make a, I think it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay, well, what, what is the wisdom saving throw of 13? He does not. Yeah, so he takes 15 points of psychic damage as even more voices just go in his head and mess with him. Okay, so he is going wow. crazy um, right now. He looks pretty wounded um, as well, and he is screaming. You can see that his face is changing, like he's suddenly getting older and his oh eyes my God. sunk in and he's freaking out. And now it is Grishnag's go as this guy starts grabbing at all of you, like, help me, help me. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go into the room. Yeah. Can I see that the eagle is attacking the soldier? Well the man who was the eagle. Or the is, uh, hawk eagle a, man. He yeah. has um he has got this other soldier <laughs> on the floor. And what Ali will also see at this point is this other man picks up the book and takes it off of the pedestal. And you see him start to shake and scream very much like this other guy did. And because he's not letting go, you can see his hands are turning the same color as the book. They are going black as it runs all the way up his um, hands. Okay. I've got my hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to stand ready to go and watch this. Watch, I would just want to let it unfold. This is so okay. much weird shit that I've never seen before. Okay, well, um, the commander turns around to Hobart and tries to attack with a 15. What is your armor class, please? That would be a 13. A 15. Okay, so he swings madly at you. Five points of damage as um, he clips you across um, the side of your arm. Because he's so sort of insane with it, I will say you can probably take a reaction um, and attack him back because he is al he's almost not letting go of you either. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll take another swing at him with my short sword. Hopefully poke him in real good, get him back to his senses so I can rain justice upon him. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, so it's Ali's turn. So this guy is basically oh. turning into the book and He's just eagle... going black all over. Like, he slowly seems like his hands are getting... His hands and his arms are going black and as they do, they're starting to get old and wrinkled at the same time. He is screaming, but he, for some reason, can't let go of the book. Mm -hmm. And the eagle man, is he still holding down one of the soldiers? Uh, yes, he has managed to um, pin one of them down. Okay. I turn to Grushnag and I say, it looks like no one can handle this book. I think it needs to be closed and we need to find some other way to pick it up and even determine if we should bring this back. 
into civilization or a leader. I agree, mate. I don't want to mess with the book myself. And I'm, you know, you can tell I'm, yeah. I'm eyeballing this gold. Like I'm digging that. Yeah. I'm watching this hawk yeah. guy like a hawk. This, this old man hasn't paid us yet. There seem to be plenty riches here for us if we so desire for the troubles we've already faced. Uh, but I don't believe this book is worth anything in anyone's hands. Can we consider trying to destroy it? It is chaos. It is the opposite of law and order. I'm afraid that some damage will come to you if, if you attempt to hurt the book itself. I can set it on fire! It is made of stone. Mm. I can try uh, to set it on fire. I'll wait, I want to make a, a knowledge um, history on the deity or the scene that's depicted or surrounding yeah. the statue, see if, it, if anything comes up. Yeah. And that's a modified 20. Oh, perfect. Okay, so what you will recall from probably looking at these images and maybe a story you heard as a child, there was once a queen who, st who began good and then she wanted more power. She searched for power and she was gifted what was known, uh, people believed to be by demons, a book, a dark book, the Book of Vile, which is a black book and nothing um, natural like plants, trees or anything can survive within uh, 10 feet of it. It brings corruption and famine wherever it goes and whoever holds the book and can, can and can take the magic who can deal with the the voices and everything will throw evil on the land just as she did mm, okay and i share this information mm -hmm. with whoever is listening and i say obviously i don't think anyone can really handle this she must have stole her soul or something for the chance to be able to wield it and i don't think we should bring this back at all. I agree, and I say we loot the place. Mm -hmm. The sorcerer is um, yelling to He's like, don't touch it, don't go near it. Don't go near we don't play it too! And the hawk is the hawk out it's the hawk Jax guy. is gonna look at it and kind of tilt her head because she's dumb. She's gonna think about it for a moment. He's just like, back up, leave now. Yeah. What do you intend to do with it? Well, I intend to leave this place as soon as I can. I was brought here against my will. Leave. No one should know of this place. Blanc's well, how do we know you're going to leave it alone? We don't know you from Adam. And I plus you stole that. the map. Yeah, you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> I stole the map so you wouldn't As my pappy would place. say. <laughs> Blunk's looking at the map and he's thinking about his oath uh, of like law and order and all the rest of it. And he's gonna he's gonna really search the depths of his mind to try and make a decision. And on a sixteen, Alice, is it likely that he's gonna be able to destroy this? No. This looks to be something that was made by something unworldly. Or otherworldly. He will sort of like shake his head a bit. Mm. Sometimes you gotta pick the lesser of two evils. And I get a feeling that I can help more people alive than I can if I waste myself on this book. You're right, Ali. Okay, come on, let's 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 get out of here. Wait, what about this guy that we're fighting? Time out, time out. How do we know Eagle Bitch over here is actually a good guy? I'm rolling. No, I just meant the guy we're fighting. The like the commander guy is like swinging his sword. He's going manic. He's very badly injured. He's bleeding out, but he is still manically swinging. Around. Sorry, Ali. We're okay. tying him up a, and leaving me here. I got a fourteen for the sorcerer to see if he's being true. Um, he insight. seems to be pretty truthful. He's like, we need to leave here now. And as this happens, the man who was holding the book starts to crumble into dust, and the book out. drops. Let's go. Leave it. He's disengaged. Leave. As, <laughs> as this happens and the book falls, you can feel a shake. You feel... You feel the ground 
start to move beneath your feet and the whole oh. place starts to shake. I'm going to grab some gold. Run, run, run. 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 Y'all feel this. You are. Run, run. Everybody, I just say, everybody run. Let's get out of here. Blunk's going to try and grab the mad, the mad person. Try and save him. Okay, yeah. uh, sorry, I'm going to grab gold and jewels. Grab, you're going to grab the gold. I'm gonna grab his some the mad gold. Person. Can you make a wisdom save for me, please? Me? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> you need to be. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm, you need I'm to with Blanc. I'm gonna try to to grab my old commander. Um. And save him. The roll. Yeah, and book it. A wisdom save. You just about make it as you scoop up this gold. You feel like something is drawing you to it, but you turn and leave. The sorcerer has stepped up after kicking off the guard and run back to the pedestal and grabbed the gold um, statue of the queen. And it's just going, run! And he starts running. As you do, the floor is starting to give away where all the gold is. Can you all make a dexterity save as the floor starts to disappear right behind you? Nine. (laughs) Nat 20! I am not okay. Nine. Nice. You see Allie whatsoever. I'm, I'm gonna go back and get Allie. Can I try and grab her? Um, hang on, so who's grabbing Allie? Sorry. Did she and I were them? in the room together talking, so I may be one of the closer people. Okay. If I can assist. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you both see this and you see her slip and um yeah. So, I'm long limbed. You can grab both arms. Yeah. You both roll a strength for me, please. Okay. Okay, you both I'm um, grabbing an arm each. Tex, you accidentally let her slip through your fingers. No! Um, so Groshna, can you make another strength to keep hold of her as this unexpected weight is going as she swings bl- below the I'm yeah. gonna roll I'm gonna use my 20. Okay, yes. you um, pull um, her up and you need to keep running as this yes. hole is still sand coming from the top of the roof as it is falling um, and coming through. Out we go. Okay. I'm just, I have a nat 20 on my deck, so I'm just like, ah! As you keep running, the, the commander slips and falls as well, triggering one of the traps. <gasps> Um, and catches his leg, sealing him to the spot as he screams and yells out. The floor is still coming, and he will drop. Keep running. I mean, I made made a pretty good dex save earlier, a 17. Am I close enough to try and... I was trying to save him anyway, I just couldn't grab him. I guess he started running. Can I try again? Um, You can, if you... um, roll another dexterity to keep your balance and then a strength to pull him up, because this is a bigger guy than you. And fall as the ground below you shifts. Oh um, no! Um. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Ah! <laughs> Am I close no! enough to, to 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 Blunk to try to catch him real quick? Yes, and I'm going to use a nat one on you, so you too slip. Oh. 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 Being eaten away. You can see as you both slip and you are now both holding onto the edge of the wall rather because there's no floor um, left at the moment. The rest of you have got to the edge and. Um, so we can't even get to them now. No, there's a little gap you probably could. So there's like a little bit coming out, but they are both clinging on. Well, I'm going to go try to grab Blunk. I assume I probably would have put Ellie down. It's not that she can't run. Yeah, no, you would have put that by now. Can I have a strength, no. please? Yeah. Yeah, you you grab Blunk. If anything, you pick him up and almost fling him through the door. Hovard and the commander are still holding on. I've been flung by an orc. This feels like a trope. Drunken goblin tossing. I'm gonna help with the uh, helping out Hobard. Well, um, a text is using a nat 20, so she hauls him up over the side, and the commander is like, don't leave me, don't leave me. I don't care about him. (laughs) I help help the commander. I will also help the commander. Strength for me, both of you, please. Okay. 
15. Oh, damn it, have you oh. rigged these dice? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so you Bro. managed to pull him up and he is hobbling from this thing that's gone through his leg and he is running with you. And you both you all burst out the entrance of the, temp of the temple as you go up. And you can see as the temple itself slowly starts to disappear below the ground as it moves. What are you guys doing? The rest right. of the island seems fine. Think... At the moment, until you feel, you, you notice all the birds start leaving the jungle. Yeah. They're running! They're run to noise! Run! run, 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 run. Yep. <laughs> Alright, we need to keep moving. See what run. progress is made on our ship. Let's go. SV near the shore is like, show me in the butt of the water! Right, I need <laughs> you all to make an athletics check to try and outrun this, please. Okay. I've been really good at these so far today. <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah>. seven! <laughs> that was a natural one. Okay. Um, hmm. You all sprint. <laughs> Tex, Tex trips and falls as some of the branches start hitting her. <laughs> but as she falls, she um, doesn't realize Ali is right behind her and knocks Ali straight to the ground as the, the whole place starts to cave in. Oh. Animals are in the jungle and they're running over you. Mm -hmm. Ow. Sorry, Ali. The sorcerer is running behind you. He's got the, the gold uh, statue grass and he is going to also I'm changing it. I'm going to use one of my nat 20s because there's no way I'm having to that one. <laughs> so he manages to scrabble um, up and keep running and he yells back to him. He's like, they're falling, they're falling. I'm going to come back and try to help. Okay, I, uh... You have to get, in fact, no, roll um, an, a dexterity first because you need to get between all these animals that are trying to leave. Yep, just like so you get knocked by a couple. Oh. Okay. I, I want to try and pull myself up and just keep running. I grab who, whoever I come to first. Okay, you probably um, come to Ali first because Tex okay. fell over backwards over Ali. Um, okay. Ali is clinging on. Um, so strength? Uh, yes, please. Yay! Yes. Right, you grab Ali and you uh, Ooh, net 20. Pull, pull her up. Um, All right. He's helping Tex. Thank you. <laughs> See if I can get Tex. Mm. Not get Tex. Tex. Um, you notice the ground open and Tex starts slipping. <gasps> Tell my puppy I love him. <laughs> I got you. Since he just since he just helped me up, yeah, I'll help Blunk as well get Tex up. Yes. Okay, so Blunk, you have effectively dived down this like cavern type thing and slid down because it's at an angle to grab hold of Tex. And Ali, you have got hold of Blunk's feet as Grossnag is holding I'm gonna, of all of you. Yeah, and I'll pull Ellie and Blunk out, hopefully. Gersnag slips and falls. He is holding, <gasps> and you guys all start to disappear slowly down this cavern. I just. You're still running? Yes. <laughs> you've left. Okay, you've left the party. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just These like. These guys are falling into this open ravine, which down the bottom you can just see pure darkness. It's okay, you guys. I know courage will save us. She was really courageous earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and Hobart, what is Hobart doing? Um, I was still going to 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 run. Um, they knew where they were getting into. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You are um, running. The commander is close um behind you. I saved you. And Pat Grusha, can you make another strength save for me? Absolutely. Okay, you manage to get a foothold if you, as you start screeching down this sort of thing as you hold them all, and you manage to pull, uh, as you're gripping Ali, you pull her up and thus blunk. And uh, you can text, just. You, you start coming up. Can, all, um, can Ali also please make me a strength save as she is trying to hold on to blunk? 13. Yeah, he's a little goblin, he's got little feet. You're grabbing hold of Ooh. him, and you guys pull up onto the side. And then you notice a cascade of water erupting from down below as well. Oh, no. Time to go. <gasps> right. Let's go back to the boat. It'll float up as soon as the island drops. Let's go. Okay. Right. Hobard and Courage and the commander is um, running. You're running towards the shore. The sorcerer hung back a little bit to where Tex and Ali were. 
and the others. But as you storm towards the beach, I just yell, Toby, get the boat in the water! We need to leave! Toby already has the boat in the water from all his disruption. He's like, get on the boat! And you notice the whole ocean around you is starting to swirl. I just get on the boat quickly. He is ushering you on. What is Grishnag and uh, Tex, Ooh. Ali, and Run for the boat. Running, running like fucking running. crazy. I okay. mean, if we just grab something that floats, do you think that'll do? Not if you're wearing a bunch of. I can not swim. If you're wearing a bunch of metal. I used to swim all the time and like knacking that wire. Okay, so as um, you run, you burst through the trees and you see Hobart and Courage and the commander on the boat already. Um, the sorcerer, you can see, is with magic slowly pushing the boat. <gasps> wait, 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 wait! Get on, get on! 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 Get Toby is um, <coughs> leaning over the edge, trying to hold out his hand to pull some of you up. I'm going to use. Um, so, who is um, going for Toby's arm? I'm um, let I'll, the girls go. Let I'll, the be, ladies go. I'll be the first one since I'm long and lanky, and I'll like pull the others out from the water. Or Tex is going to let the yeah. others. Go I'm going to help with the. I'm going to. I'm going to assist with pulling the other people up on the boat. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Toby up. is going to reach down and hold on to Ali. I'm going to use my nat twenty and pull her straight. Up on board. The sorcerer okay. also climbs up on board. The rest of you, um, right? So courage, you have. Can you hold? Um, do a strength to help Tex up, please. All right. Texas is gonna. Tex is gonna wait for everybody else. She can. Stay. It's, it's only is, and Grishnag on the. Yeah, this is gonna be a wet situation right here. No. She was knee hard to a tadpole. She's good. <laughs> the no! water is now pooling around your knees. Those who are not oh, on the boat. I'm gonna try yeah. to help lift Tex up, get her on the boat. Okay, can you roll a strength, please? Ugh. Oh. If anything, you're pushing her and it's making it more awkward for her to grab. Her. If anything, I'm gonna try to switch it up and get Grush Nag up. And that's not either. <laughs> what are you guys trying to get each other? Blood, Blood grab that. my hand! Blood yeah. grab my Whilst hand! Everyone else is like doing the, I imagine you're all doing like the sea run thing where you can jump out. Blunk's just like running forward into it in like his chain mail and just sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> Blunk, I just. Okay. Can I try like, can no. I try Can I try Can I try Nope, that's not happening either. Uh, I'm, help, I'm, help gonna help, help. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help Blunk up too. Strength, you can roll with advantage, but I'll notice he's in armor. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so Hobod literally hangs off the side of the boat and scoops Blunk up and throws him um, on board. Where's he, where he lands in a soggy mess. I'm going to pull out my hand crossbow. Tex, mm-hmm. have you got any rope? Quick, let's tie it on a boat. I'll see if I can get us a line to the ship. We need a, what, what's with the silence? So, hang on, sorry, what are you doing? I'm going to see if, I'm asking Tex if she has any rope and we'll tie it to a crossbow bolt. Oh. And I'll fire it into the side of the boat and hopefully give us a little tow rope. I think Tex does. Tex, do you have rope? What um, is your pack? Um, I do. I have an explorer's pack. You so have rope. Have you have rope. But I am going. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Could I use gust of wind to try to blow us up there? You could. That's an interesting one. But yes, you can. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> I, I don't know if it would work or not, but... Toby's yelling, he's like, for God's sake, get on the boat! Like, Get on! Gonna... I'm gonna try and, like, try and pull a uh, text up again. I'm gonna try that again. Okay. Yeah. Should it be, like, I'm a strength save or just a regular strength? That, I'm gonna cast Gust of Wind to try to help me get my butt up. Okay, so, um... Oh, I'll tell you what, so... <laughs> no, you It'll push you 15 feet. You roll with um, advantage on trying to catch Grishnag and Tex. Okay. It'll push us. I'll, also, I will help Courage try and catch them. Yeah. I got 11. Is that a strength? Yep. Uh, yes. 18. Yeah. Okay. So, as they come up from this gust of wind that seems to appear from nowhere, Tex and Grishnag shoot upwards up the side of this boat, and Ali manages to grab them. Um, Grishnag almost crushes Courage as he lands. Ow! Ali is um, pulling them onto the boat. You um, 
you sail out into the water and you can feel this um, water becoming manic as you watch um, you watch this island slowly disappear beneath the waves and then you feel a pull as the island sinks the water is going towards it can you all make a deck safe for me to hold on please oh, <laughs> oh I'm fucked 15. Okay, sorry, what was Ali's? 15. 15. Okay, so (laughs) Tex and Hobard are thrown to the other side um, of the boat and are now holding on to the boat as it is tipped upside. Your feet are effectively in the water as you are being pulled. Can I move on the boat? (laughs) As he spins it round. Can I move on the boat, try to grab him? Yep, you can run. Can you use a dexterity though, please? Because you are running, so. Okay, you can. You very awkwardly grabbing hold of things as you go. And then a strength to, um, who are you pulling up? I'll grab uh, uh, Tex. Mm-hmm. Yep, you do so. Yes! Mm-hmm. Uh. He slips from your grip <gasps> and holds. A little help here, mate. Oh, <laughs> Can I try to grab him? Yeah, you can try and grab him as you go up and he falls. You are lower, so you can try and grab him. <laughs> you, he slips from your hands. No! No! I tried, I tried. Hobart, can you ho- roll a strength, please, to hold on? Uh, can I do in athletics? Yeah, yeah, you can okay. do in athletics. Okay, you are holding on, but the whole boat is tipping again. Shit. Uh, yeah. This isn't fun! Can I try an athletics check to pull him over? Yep, you have to reach down and pull him out. Yeah. Yeah, you managed to pull him on. <gasps> as so you oh my god, this is stressful. As you do this, the waves seem to calm and the the ocean slows down as you watch the last of this temple go beneath the sea and toby is at the back like we survived like he is so happy to be alive right now he's running around he's giving you hugs he's kissing all of you he grabs blunk and he's like (laughs) like as he keeps um text looks a little bit of tongue yeah (laughs) and he backs up immediately like Oh, and he, keeps, um, he seems in a good what? enough mood. He's like, yeah, okay. And you see the sorcerer trying to catch his breath as he still clings onto the gold um, statue from the side, and he is breathing heavily. He's like, oh, okay. You okay, man? You look what very are you tired. Doing with that gold, mate. There is a reason I have this. And what's that? Why is he on board? And he points to the commander who is sort of rocking in the corner and whispering to himself. Is someone ought to tie him up? Yeah, I tie him up. Yeah. That's what I got left of my oh, rope. Okay, Hobard, you walk, are you just tying him up or are you like I'm tying just like he's he's, he's he's <laughs> He doesn't seem no, it right. I don't 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 yeah, I don't want don't want him dead at the moment. I kinda okay. want, want justice here. So just I'm just gonna sleep. tie him just 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 right. Okay, he doesn't so seem in the right frame of mind. To the mast. He doesn't so seem in the right frame of mind. Are we sure tying him up is the right idea? Maybe we could try and help him. Uh, that looks like that temple shook him up real bad. Can you take him to a? You should never mess with a temple situation because there's always some angry deity or some shit, and it never turns out good. And she takes a swig from her flask. But what do you? Oh, Ali just wants to start brewing some calming tea for everyone to to, to relax and you know heal a little bit. Okay. She's just gonna go over to sorcerer guy and just like, so what do you need that statue for anyway? You're you're very keen on getting it. I can't. And then he takes the tea that is being passed away. He's like, thank you. And he sits down, and he's like, um, they can't have this. This is this is a very old magical artifact that they can't take <sighs> sorry i've not huh can, can and I, you can um can i go over and use my shit. lay on hands and my divine sense to see if there's something like really wrong 
like lay on hands. I could just give him healing points if he needs them. Yeah. Okay. As you do that, he seems to start breathing better. You see, he's actually been stabbed in the side, and he okay. is holding onto his waist. He's like, Thank I you. will heal that up. How many points does it need? Uh, three or four. Not much. It's not like a deep wound, but it's been made worse because he was running for his life. I can just use a healing word on him. Just like, you're gonna be okay, buddy. You're gonna be okay. I, I'm gonna cast healing word on him. Thank you. <sighs> Tucks has gotta go up to him and squint and go, so, so it's like, there you go. In the ocean or some shit. I'll show you in a second. <sighs> and he's trying to catch his breath and he's sort of looking over at Blunk and he's like, thank you. Who are you anyway? You got a name, son? My name is Aaron. My name's Aaron, and I'm a researcher. And, uh, whew. That doesn't speak well to me right now, because a researcher is the person that wants us to go get that book, and to me, it looked like that book just fucks people up. Who wanted you to get the book? His name is Marcus. Marcus. Old fucker. The old man. Marcus Wade. Is that where you came from? Yeah, that's his name. And he's like, he sort of relaxes back. He's like, he is not an old man. He is as young as I am. Really? He is, old old and we met with him. he is a sorcerer himself. This is probably just an illusion. He knows he couldn't touch the book himself. He is not a man well, to be trusted. Why the fuck would he think we can touch the damn book? I mean, come on. We saw what it did to people. I don't know. I. Well, I can't get it now. It's just all the way in the bottom of the ocean with a sunken island. I... I'd like to apologize for... snatching the map off you. It's very rude of me. And he's just slowly straightening up. That's awkwardly. He's like... I had no ill intentions towards you. At all. I was brought here against my will whilst trying to prevent anyone from... Okay, you say you were brought here against your will, but you can turn into a fucking bird, so why didn't you just fly away? Because I couldn't let them have this. And he holds out the gold statue. What but is what is it to you? That's this. what I want. And he twists what? it at the edge, and you see it all fall, fall away mechanically, like clockwork. And there is a scroll inside. He says, this is another map. And it shows me the opposite of what we found in there. So this, there is a good book then. This is the exalted, this is the book of exalted deeds. And we must find it. And that is where we will wrap up. Oh! One shot. Woo! Oh, I want to do more! I want to know more! <laughs> I'm up for round two at some point if everyone else is. <laughs> and we all survived! <laughs> Wow. Uh, no, that was I good. That was very that was stressful, <laughs> but I loved it. It was stressful, but I loved it. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Awesome. Very so, good um, game. Alice, how do you want to do, 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 do this? Go around the cast and crew. Okay, cool. We'll go in reverse order this time. Uh, so we'll start with uh, we'll start with Nazim. With Hi. you. Oh yeah, with me. Uh, oh no, I'll go. I'll, I'll go like I'll go like Uber last. I'll I'll take that last. <laughs> Uber last. Because I've got like I've got like loads of shit to tell people. So like yeah, Nassim, take it away. Uh, this is your chance to tell us um, uh, advertise yourself a little bit. Tell us where we can find you online. So we want to go and check out all them cool things, and also tell us your favorite part of the adventure. Oh oh well, this I absolutely enjoyed all the fabulous role playing. With you guys this is a great group of role players right here and that's always my favorite part um and uh, again nasim etimad i had a blast you can find me on twitter at nasim etimad uh or listen to uh venture maidens my uh 5e D, D podcast with four other fa uh, three other fabulous players we stream every wednesday on don't split the podcast network on twitch um, our episodes are also on YouTube, on iTunes, wherever podcasts are, and yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and please, by all means, uh, I don't block chat, so please put all of your links in chat so that the uh, people in chat can come and find you, because um, 
Yeah, just mm. give him that easy access. Uh, yeah, I'm just putting my stuff up right now. Oh, and it's speaking of which, it's my turn! It is! This was, this was so fun. Like, that was a lot of fun. Just like, just like trying to pull people out and saving their lives and just like all the weird random rolls that we got. Yeah, he, I was, she tried so hard to kill this one guy who was really uh, easy to kill. <laughs> and I was the only one with a decent initiative too. I think that was the worst part. <laughs> But, there, but I had an amazing time, and that that was like I've I've had a lot of fun, and I really appreciate. It. So you can find me on Twitter uh, by at your D for Gaming X, and you can also find me on Twitch as a casual streamer on G for Gaming One. I do PlayStation Four variety games like Overwatch, Final Fantasy Fifteen, Monster Hunter World, and all that. So you can just find me on there. Awesome! Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> and next up. We have, uh, not me, Nixie. Hello, everybody. I am Lee, also known as Nix. You can follow me on Twitter at Lockstar underscore Nixie. Well, I will repost anything I'm playing on, etc. I am actually playing on Wednesday on Scratch Channel, I believe. I believe Kiana is DMing Ravenloft, and I'm playing in that, aren't I? Ooh, I think so. Hang on, I will well, check, the, check the detail. The as well as my beautiful wife, Joanna, the other half of Technical Lesbians. Um, we have a website, technicallesbians.com, that I'm very terrible about posting on, but Joe's very good about. And a Twitter, Lesbotechnical. Um, anyone happens to be going to Baton Rouge Pride tomorrow, we will be there. And um, at the end of July, I will be working at MechaCon in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, with the glorious folks at MetCore Entertainment. If you ever wanted to learn how to pilot a giant robot, I can teach you. And when I'm not working, I'll probably be hanging around the tabletop room. So hit me up if you want to play. Uh, just checking. I've got you down on the 27th, not the 27th. 27th. No, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday after next, then. That's it. That's the one. Okay. Lovely. I'm bad at math, except when it involves D&D and baking. I'm bad at <laughs> dates, unless I have that red book in my hand. <laughs> um. oh, I, I forgot to add my, my also one of my other favorite parts is the flacky glasses <laughs> that's the that's another one of my favorite parts is me just having these glasses oh. <laughs> my favorite part is that someone actually got my random ass Texas references <laughs> that was good thank you, thank you. And next Back up you. then we have Dread Pirate Romy, Romy. Dread Pirate Romy I heard the pronunciation Dread Pirate Romy that, no, no, that's, that's fine um no, I, all I've got is my Twitter, and uh, I'm at Dread Pilot Rami. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm here. <laughs> and what about the show? Did you enjoy any particular? Oh no, it was great. Um, it's the first time I've played in probably, as a player, probably about ten, fifteen years. So oh, welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, bro. Uh, last time I played, it was it was three and three. Third edition going into 3.5 was the last time I played. Damn. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> That's something to celebrate there. Um, and, well, last of the players, uh, but certainly not least, uh, we welcome back Wiley Hobbit. How are you, sir? I'm well. This was fun. I've been dying to play in one of Alice's games. So, thank you for that. From one hobbit to another, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of the game is meeting four really cool new people and getting the game with new people, and hang out once again with Sprat and Alice. I love coming over here to play D and D. So uh, this was a lot of fun, and I'm ready for the book of uh, Exalted Deeds. So I wrote that down, fully yeah. anticipating some other arrangement someday. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah, you definitely can... we need another arrangement. Yeah. Uh, this was fun. Thank you all very much for a great time. You can catch me on Monday nights on Welcome Party RPG's Twitch channel, playing in a little group we call New to the Party. We're about five episodes into our campaign, and it is fun. So that's where I'm at, and I'm at Wiley Hobbit on Twitter. Awesome. I, I, I didn't think your English accent was terrible. It was it was passable. All right. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> you disguise it. You can disguise it with a growl, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely possible. Definitely. From somewhere. 
<laughs> we have so <laughs> many accents. Oh yeah, get in the car, drive twenty oh, minutes, yeah. you'll get a different accent. So yeah. yeah. I can do a couple accents myself. <laughs> I just tend don't really want to do them right now. Yeah. I'm terrified because I did theater with actual English people and I remember going out partying and I'd pretend I was one of them and I remember my friend Amy Sue going to me and go, You know your accent's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> So I'm always terrified, like with with people who are actually from an area, being like, oh, yeah. that accent. Oh yeah. Exactly. No, 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 no. Only encouragement here. I was trying to help someone earlier. They were doing an English accent, and they, 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 they I've noticed a lot of people who try to do an English accent. They keep it really. They go really nasal. They make it sort of sound English by going really nasal with it. Stereotypical. Yeah, yeah and I was like, bring it down. Drop the T's. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't just... it, get, it gets whimsical. Yeah. yeah. I did get an actor award nomination for my Irish accent once. That's fantastic. I used to be good with that. <laughs> right. Top of the morning to you, oh, I went natural today, y'all. I, I, I could hear I could hear in your wrap up that you were really trying not to like go back into it. I could hear that. <laughs> it sounded like my mother, which is <laughs> terrifying, y'all. It's terrifying. So Alice. Alice. Same I... questions. I, I have fun. Again, my favorite bits are always role play. I love role play. Um, I wanted to try and create a tense situation with running away from the ground caving in at the end. Um, I love that some of you are so bad at rolling dice. <laughs> I've got a great, I've got, because I love it when people roll badly because it allows for more things. So one oh, of yeah. my favorite images Those I now have in my head is the line of you falling down this thing with just Marishnag holding on to Blunk, who's holding on to, uh, no, holding on to Ali, who's holding on to Blunk, who's holding on to Tex as they slowly slide down. But yeah, I am we white rabbit. Fan art. <laughs> I, I will get on it. I am drawing. Yes! <laughs> I, um, I am white rabbit pick um, on Twitter. Um, I'm also a well-to-do hobbit on here. I really need to pick a name. Um, for this, I am a photographer during the day when I am not doing D and D. Um, so, yeah, um, thank you so much for letting me DM again. I, I love um, DMing and great. Great to do it with all you guys. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, indeed, thank you. Thank you, everybody. This has been a blast. Yeah. It has. I, I thank you so much. This was amazing. So just glad you liked it. <laughs> that just leaves me. Guys, we're playing D D. Well, actually for the last fourteen, fifteen days, we've played D D every single day. Uh, at least once, Ooh. sometimes three or four times a day. So um yeah. <laughs> if you want your D D, you can get your daily dose here. Um I am gonna give myself a little break this weekend. I'm going to take Sunday off. I'm going to go and go and go and have a pint. That's what I'm going I'm to do. Not. <laughs> I'm not No, so Alice is still playing, but I'm gonna go and have a pint. Um so these are the links that you guys need if you want to get more involved. Uh come to the Discord. We've got a really nice community in there. Um I've literally noticed in the last few days how much I can brag about my Discord community. It's just such a welcome and <laughs> accepting place to help you guys uh make characters learn the rules query things um i've been sending all of our new new players in and they've been so well received so great place yeah we also uh, we also share our artwork in there uh, so if you want to share some artwork or if you want to view some artwork you can go in there and we always welcome that artwork um Twitter, uh, that's where if you guys want to get into a game, send me a DM on Twitter. Uh, I check Twitter more than anything else. If you DM me on Discord, I will pick it up, but it's likely to be delayed. Um, but yeah, if you send me a DM on Twitter, I will pick it up wherever I am, and I will have my book with me, and I'll get you in the book, and I'll get you a game. No matter who you are, where from, where, or how good you are, or anything like that, I'll get you a game. YouTube. Awesome. YouTube is up to date. All of our videos are on YouTube. Uh, I've, someone was asking about the, Le the Lost Shepherd. It's on there. Everything's on there. So um, if you want to, if you if you're looking for any of our past uh, one shots, so long as it's not after a certain point, uh, it will be on the YouTube. And if it's not there, ask me because I've not binned them yet. I've just sort of looked at them all and gone. I'm not going to bother with anything beyond this date. Uh, I have a Patreon, uh, which you guys can support should you so wish. And I also I have. You're supposed to remind me of that. <laughs> I can't remind you to play. <laughs> You need your money. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, we also have birch. Nix, come on, it's time for that protection money. Like, you know, you want games. <laughs> like, no, 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 that's not what it's about. Uh, but I also have merch as well. Uh, you guys might see the new the new crest. Uh, that is now available on t-shirts, on clocks, and I don't know, sundials. Everything rest, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Red, it's all on Redbubble. So if you want some, if you want some merch, you can go and buy some there. And also, I've got a uh, competition on my Twitter at the minute. 
uh, where you guys... I'm currently entering this competition right now. Where you guys can win a t-shirt, <laughs> uh, some sketchbooks, a notepad, uh, and a sticker, perhaps for a blazer. Um, and I, I've ordered some already, so I'll be able to demonstrate, I'll be able to show you guys the merch that I'll be auctioning off soon. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. Not auctioning. The other thing. Competition. What was your favourite bit? What was my favourite bit? Hmm. That being the DM. Yeah, <laughs> usually, <laughs> but no. Uh, in this case, my favourite bit actually was um, the unexpected development of the player Blunk. I was expecting him to be an angry little, like, um, you know, like, I was expecting basically the, the goblin demonic form of Judge Dredd. Uh, and um, very early on, we had some nice character develop there where he where he became something a bit more considerate. And he really took that on board, so that was that was really cool. Um, I am going to take us over to uh, Cyborg Pizza's channel. Uh, you guys know her and we love her. Uh, Yay, so Anna! <laughs> hold on to your helmets as we go and raid. And when we get in there, let's fill that tra raid with hype. Be it my emote, be it other hype, be it whatever. Let's just go in there and absolutely... Um, Hype the hell out of her because she is lovely. Um, she's not playing D and D right now. She is currently playing The Sims, uh, and the campaign name is uh, the title name is Sims Noob. So that should be. Uh, hopefully, there'll be some hilarity over there. Uh, uh, I'll quickly run through my schedule. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. over on Chorus RPG, playing Jigsaw Card Charlie Kendall. Then I'm doing another one shot at 7 p.m. EST. Uh, Sunday, Alice is on Fables of Fame at 7 p. Uh, at 4 p.m. BST, which is some other time in English. And uh, on Monday, we are back with a one-shot. So we'll see you then. And see you soon. Bye! Bye. Goodbye! Let's get the hype ready! <laughs>